<laughs> no, I'm immune to cock and ball torture because I'm a bard. It only gets me off. <laughs> so uh, go ahead, roll up how much health I get back. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, is that going to be a what die? It's a d20 or a d6? Uh, d4 because you're a weak bitch. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> All right, real quick, real quick. It's The stream is up now. No more penis talk. Penis. So I, I need to real quick test out. Uh, Emma, say hello. Hello. Cool. Uh, Cannoli, say hello. Hello. All right. You sound fucking disgusting. Sarah, say hello. <laughs> Be more like Sarah. Hello. <laughs> no, no, no. You're fine, Sarah. I was telling Cannoli to be like you. Oh. <laughs> oh, be like Sarah? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? That was good. <laughs> what? Okay, good wonderful. Ah. <laughs> cannoli, when I, well, whenever I have to take a break, Cannoli plays as me and you don't know the difference. God. <laughs> Even I don't know the difference. I'm like listening to a stream in the what? other room. It's just like, hmm, I say. What'd you say? <laughs> I said I like plants and plants. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Anthony, and I think porn should be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> 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 You wanna know how I got these scars? You wanna know how I got these scars? I was beat in Catholic school for being caught jerking off in the women's bathroom. <laughs> well, okay. Joke, but I legitimately think someone got caught for something along those lines. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Why are we? <laughs> yeah, D and D. Sorry. Uh, who wants to do a recap? Emma, give us a recap. <laughs> Oh shit! Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I'm fucking with you. All right. I no. You, you, okay, go for it. All right. So when we last left the D and D characters, the Nero and Zelina went into the sewers to try to rescue some of the slaves. Also, Zelina was a ter apparently turned into a guy for a that small was part. Very brief. You're not a guy anymore. Very brief, not a guy. But it was like for five minutes. And then Cannoli's character Grancio decided to save some people being kidnapped on the streets and he killed these minions for the Dark Order that is unknown for us. Including dearly beloved Pissmouth. Pissmouth, Pissmouth is no longer with us. That is right. Pissmouth is dead. He was uh, a guy that uh, tried to beat up Cannoli in the first session um, because he had a bounty on his head. And uh, Cannoli absolutely fucked his shit up. He broke his leg twice. Um, and uh, pelvis. Not his leg. Pelvis. It was it was his like femur. Yes. And so this this is and, <laughs> yeah. They they pull him out, dragging him out by the balls, and he pissed himself. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He's dead it's now. The yeah, he's dead. Cannoli crushed him with a dumpster. After he broke his leg a third time. Or it was a second time. Yeah, it was... Oh, that was a chilling scene, I'm not gonna lie. Ah! Okay. Cannoli is scary. Cannoli, <laughs> not gonna lie, that that was definitely a, a breathtaking experience. I was shocked. I did you not gotta expect... play like a barbarian. I know, but yeah. that mixed with uh, uh, Jack's DMing voice acting skills was just like, oh, shoot. That yeah, somebody fucking answer. died. <laughs> All right. I know, but it was just so... anyway. Yes. So I will also address: we will not be using secret ponches as the background. We're doing moon hunters this time. You fuckers keep giving <gasps> me shit for that. It's moon hunters this time. You're welcome. I listened. Okay. Oh, Twitch chat being a butt. Yeah, no. Is everyone that, got sick of looking at Fat Man. Uh, uh, yeah, it says one person is. That means my hero. Might be a bot. It might be me. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. I like to imagine people are listening to this in post because I upload the streams. 
Yay! Or guy yeah, does. But... Yeah. Will I ever be able to meet this mysterious guy? Nah, he's elusive. It was hard for even me to find him. I had to, uh, I had to go to Athens to meet him. I, uh, had to follow the scent of grass clippings down an alleyway. And, uh, you know, clothes actually scare him. So I had to get naked. And, uh, I made sure I brought with me a can Ooh. of Bush's baked beans so that, you know, I could, I had a gift for him, you know, because he doesn't work for free. Where so, did you put the baked beans? I, I, I held them <laughs> in my hands. Store, dumber, d- dumber, dumbass. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Anyways, Question, did, the, did the beans have bacon in it? Very important. I don't know. I didn't eat them. You'd have to ask guy. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, when I when I did meet the frightened creature, I uh, started hand feeding him the beans. Right, he would lick them right out of my hands, and I, I would pet his head and tell him, "Hey, man, I need you to work on video stuff for me." <laughs> and yeah, ever since then, he's been uh, leeching off of me. Rent free. Eating beans. Eating beans. <laughs> Eating beans, beans out of my palms completely naked. Hot. What a chat. Absolutely. <laughs> God, I'm so glad you guys don't know that story. That's actually really funny because <laughs> I'll explain it. I'll explain it after. I'll explain it after. <laughs> yes. No, I'll explain it now. I'll explain it now. Real quick. Real quick, just one more tangent, and then we'll get started. Um, so I have this buddy here in my town that I talk to. To those of higher intelligence, he is referred to as the pussy conductor. But those who are normal human brains, he is also known as uh, Trayton. Good man, great man, funniest dude I ever met in my life. And um, he sent me a picture of this uh, Roman guy playing a horn. Like a full on like trumpet, and it was like waking this kid up. You know, it was it was funny, right? <laughs> and um, fuck, I gotta find it real quick. Uh, and I I told him, man, I hate it when that happens. You know, and he's like, yeah, it's every day. I have to call like a legionnaire or something to get him out. And I'm like, I know a way for you to get him out of your house for good. I know this guy. His name is the dog. Okay. But, and I got I gotta find it real quick so I can really like read to you the exact the, the exact logs here. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I was like uh I know this guy in Athens who might be able to help help you out. He's called the dog, but you can't call him though. And he's like, How does one reach this man? And that's what I went on the tangent of. First, venture to Athens at midnight. Follow the smell of freshly shaved grass and follow the alley to its end. If you do not have a can of Bush's baked beans, I recommend turning back now. If you do, however, remove all articles of clothing, for it scares the dog. You may keep your socks. When you hear the chains rattle you to you, when you hear the chains rattle to you, you must hand feed him the beans. Reassure him that you share a common enemy and that I sent you. Eventually, you will earn the timid beast's trust. It is at this moment you may request one thing from him for this year, and he will complete this trial to the best of his ability. <laughs> Damn, that's a pretty good story. And then I, I sent him a picture of, like, a box of Band-Aids, but instead of Band-Aids being in it, it was fucking baked beans. And then I said, feed him the beans. <laughs> <laughs> and then he he, he uh, replied, more than anything, I'm in awe of how good of a story that was just having stem from a Roman meme. Yeah, and that was pretty it great. a good DM. And then I replied, they have found me. Find the dog. And he says, your efforts won't go in vain. I'll find the dog or they will find me dead. No Roman shall be left standing. Godspeed, you big, beautiful bitch. I'll see you in the afterlife. And then I've never replied to him since then. I've ignored pretty much every single... Oh, hi, crazy. Welcome, welcome to the stream. I hope you heard that entire story. I'm Sarah. That is Sarah. Anyways, I am a bean. Unfortunately. Oh, I thought you were... Yeah, no, I do that pretty well. 
Yeah, let's begin the session. Real quick, going to double up on that uh, recap. Yes, everything Sarah said was true. But before that, you also encountered this lieutenant from some from that same clan that you're attacking right now who <laughs> was investigating the church spire you guys have been camping out in. Uh, Nero looked really afraid of him, but since you guys showed up, the three of you handled him barely well enough. Um... And then, Sarah, you had that dream with that plant lady again. You got to meet that scary dude with her. Uh, and, Cannoli, you got to have fun with an enlarged potion. That was awesome. Yeah. All right. And then, yeah, Cannoli started playing Batman on the streets and killed, like, five people. And then Sarah's working with Nero to free people in the sewers. I think she has just left the sewers. Now... Nero is a bard. You'll be meeting him here in a second. Now, um, we today joining us on Team Four Star. We have the lovely, elusive Miss Emma. She is going to be joining us as her character. Real quick, Emma, would you like to describe your elven self? Yeah. Okay. So my name is Sila Adenium. And I am a half-elf rogue and treasure hunter slash merchant. Uh, I'm aligned to the deity Artemis, chaotic good. Uh, I have brown eyes and black hair and sort of like a light olivey skin tone. 5'7". Uh, and I'm 31 years old. Uh, yeah. All right. Did I say she's a rogue? Yeah, she's a rogue. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, now. Do I have to give her backstory? Or... Uh, no, no. That, that can be developed through game where you just don't have to tell it at all. That's really mainly for me. But it's also good role play to tell through in-character game. Don't worry about it right now. Um, as of right now. Emma, you begin to stir from this foul smell that's reached you. You got a solid bump on the back of your head and it's kind of dizzy to move but to move yourself around. You feel as though you woke up with a really bad migraine as you find yourself in the sewers with your hands bound in a chain connected to a series of other people in front of you. You also see people in these black cloaks. Not cloaks, not robes, but like overcoats. Kind of like black biker coats, but like uh, they have these white eyeballs sprawling on the backs on their uh, back, like their upper lateral back. It's this crudely drawn eye. It's not realistic at all. Mm -hmm. And they're holding torches. There's definitely one person to your right on the other side of the sewer. This tunnel is probably about five feet tall and then five feet long across with the ceiling arching over. And then there's like a one foot like long trough of like water and shit in the middle because it's a sewer sewage it's sewage in, in between <laughs> you and them um if you look over their shoulders you can see another person another uh person that's not you know friendly another guard or whatever whatever the fuck they are also leading this pack and you can assume there's two more behind you Okay, wait, so I'm not against the wall, I'm like in the middle of the room? Yeah, you're, you uh, find yourself getting shaken up and brought to your feet. It looks like you're about to start walking. Okay. Um, fuck, it's been a minute since I've done any sort of D&D. &D. Let me get myself worked out real quick. <clears throat> yeah, you see uh, one person picking you up by your shoulder onto your feet. It's This is uh, another person in a black like jacket of sorts with a with a t-shirt underneath it with the eye on it and he's like hey your nap's over we're gonna put you to work get walking Ooh. Ooh, okay <laughs> you can see behind him there's a strange well no hold on i should probably make you roll spot check for that nah whatever i'll give you the first one for free uh, oh, before we start, I also got to remember, there's also a house rule that if you fuck up any roll at all, I will give you one re-roll for the whole session. Okay. Use it wisely. Yeah. 
it replenishes also, every second. So, I'm, yep. I'm sorry, I just want to make sure this this town, the city we're in right now, did you say it was like sort of like, it's not completely modern, it's kind of like steampunk, right? Yeah, the, the whole world has like an aesthetic of steampunk to it. It's very lightly steampunk, that's not like the main theme. It's more okay. fantasy than anything else, the steampunk's more of a light flare. Gotcha. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's Detroit, you know, it's kind of like cobbled together, I'd imagine. Yeah. But, um... So, looking over this dude's shoulder, you almost completely missed in the dark. Uh, because you're still trying to wake up, your night vision hasn't completely kicked in yet. But you see green and yellow hair. And, uh, and uh, guitar. Guitar? <laughs> yeah, he has a guitar on his back. It's a bard. <laughs> you're not sure... You're not sure why he's uh in the sewers though. Yeah, I bet he stands out with that hair. <laughs> not really. He it's really dirty. It's not like bright or neon or anything. Oh, it's like okay. he has mud ran through it. Gotcha. You're just surprised you <laughs> checked this at all. But um you're quickly turned around and forced to start walking. And you kinda hear the guy behind you get pulled back. He well, it's almost completely silent, though, when he's drug, drug back. And then you feel a light tap on your shoulder. Do you look behind you? <laughs> oh, uh, I thought you were going to just I keep thought going. You, I thought you cracked out or something. I'm like, uh, Jack? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I I, sorry about that. All right, yeah, you turn around, you see the bard there in the uh, unconscious, uh, cultist or whatever there and he's like can i see your hands uh yeah uh, i guess he reaches over and puts his hand on the braces and you see them begin to glow this like blue arcane glow and oh, yeah. all the locks that was holding everyone together you and all the people up the chain it all releases, and immediately those uh, those uh, cultists that were leading guys kind of look back and see everyone just get unlocked. He's like, "All right, I did my part," and then he turns invisible. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, dude! You're really just gonna <laughs> leave us like this here? Yeah, some help you were. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, now now uh, the guys are showing up to you. You still got your knife on your hip. They didn't strip you down yet. So, uh, there's a dude approaching you now, and you see some of the slaves, you know, as soon as they break free, one of them pins the dude up against the wall. Whereas, uh, the, uh, okay, so one of the people who are in chains pins this, uh, dude in a coat up to the wall. You hear that bard speak up one more time before he disappears entirely. You hear him go, you should probably get topside. It's gonna get messy down here. Okay, thanks for the advice, I guess. Alright, so you gonna try to join in the fight down here, or are you gonna try to climb up top? Uh, I think I'm gonna... I mean, it seems like, you know, if this guy's got someone pushed up against the wall, but he's... He, he's got it going. He's, he's, he knows what he's doing, yeah. so I'm just gonna try to kind of sneak around and s sneak away. Yeah, there's uh, four other slaves here, too, that are also wrestling about, but that's like the first thing you've seen. But yeah, go ahead and make your uh, stealth check. They seem pretty occupied, so go ahead and add a plus five to whatever else you add to it. Okay, I, I don't have dice, so you... Oh, you fuck me, that's right. Give me I'm a sorry, second. I'm sorry, a D&D online roller. Nah, I don't like those. One of you guys can roll for me. <laughs> yeah, I, what am I rolling for? I know, I lost my dice. Alright, yeah, Sarah, you roll it. Alright, rolling for you, I'm... Uh... What are you rolling? Uh, a stealth to see how stealthy. So yeah, it's a hide I... check. You're you're doing a you're doing a move silently, not hide. Sorry. All right. Okay. So plus five on what I got. Yeah, and then All whatever right. else Emma has for her hide. All right. What's what? um? Real quick, Emma. What you will be adding is the ranks that you put into it. So those points you had to put. All the points you had to split across your skills, you'll be adding those if you have that in hide or move silently. You will also be adding your uh, dexterity, dexterity to it because it's a dex skill. I yeah, and, hide and move silently, so do I add both? Uh, no, nah, just one. Um, we'll go with move silently because, you know, you're just yeah, trying to get out of this spot. Okay, so that's 
That's the ability modifier plus the rank. Yeah. Yep. Seven. You're going to be adding the plus five, your dexterity, and your ranks. So she got a 12 then. Yep. And then Sarah, go ahead and do your roll. All well, right. No, Sarah. Oh, Sarah, I thought you rolled. Uh, yeah, I got a... Uh, I rolled a six. All right. So six plus the 12, that is... Uh, all right, that's a very good roll. Nice. Cool. So, yeah, you're able to slip away, no, no problem at all. You uh, just kind of go back the way that uh, the bard came, and okay. uh, you start working your way up that way. You can hear someone sprinting down a hall next to you. He's murmuring some strange incantations in a foreign language that you don't quite understand. Mm -hmm. This doesn't sound human. As you can see his silhouette as he just kind of sprinting with his back arched back as he's swinging his arms like way the fuck forward and way the fuck back just... He looks like a madman on a mission. And in his hands are these strange star-shaped, like, blades. Yeah, it looked like I'm he had horns. I think I'm going to try to avoid him as I can. Uh, of course. So You do see a ladder on your right as well that looks like it leads to the surface. Yeah, I'll definitely test out that ladder then. All right, go for it. Uh, make a strength check to move the manhole. Okay, so that's... Yeah, I'll roll for you. Yep, you're going... For that, you're just ro adding your strength modifier. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to roll a d20 for you. Give me one sec here. Rolling. A 17. Nice, nice. Uh, do we add anything, Emma? Uh, no, I don't have anything. <laughs> Alrighty. Yep. Surprisingly enough, you're able to kind of move this out. You kind of do this thing where you press your back into it, and then your palms, and you kind of just kick it up from the ladder, and you're able to wedge it up, and then once it gets out of the out of the slot that it's in, you're able to slide it over and climb out. Okay. Now, uh, you find yourself staring at a the back of a giant crab. Cool. <laughs> You've never <laughs> seen this thing before, and this really shouldn't be in your town. Jesus Christ, the fuck is that? I mean, uh, hello. Uh, uh, so, uh, Jack, I wanted to talk to you about something special, if I could. Of course. The battle. Uh, I would like to request a plus one to my AC, since I'd be covered in blood, and plus I'd be bloody, because I lost half my health. But I would also like to request that my attack modifier, uh gets a minus one to it, since I'd be technically a little bit more slippery, and thus my hands on the weapon would be a little bit more slippery. Um, what's the purpose of all of these things? Like, just just because um, you're caked in blood and meat? More so, yeah. But it would also just help, yeah, I don't know. Uh, a little confusing. <laughs> sure, you gotta do what you think you would make sense. Okay. Just if it causes uh, any if it causes any problems, don't account for it anymore. Okay. Um. Then I'd like to roll for a spot, or what would it be to hear someone behind you? Oh, uh, listen. Check? That'd be listen. Listen, I mean, check. I, I'm assuming he's like right in front of me, right? Yeah. Right, um. So well, eight... it's like you're about ten feet away from him, but if you said "What the fuck?" and then "Um, hello," I'm sure he'd hear you by default. Yeah, I don't do you think Cannoli do needs to roll for that. I was but, thinking, oh. I mean, if Cannoli's in his barbaric rage right now, still enlarged, and kind of more focused on the battle, I can also expect him to need a, a listen check for that. Uh, right. My size low, low is still check. going. So, yeah, so my size is still going. So All I right. got an 18 for my roll. Let me check if I get any additional modifiers. That'd be a perception check, right? Uh... Yeah, yeah, you add your wisdom modifier to your listen. Oh, now, also, also, describe what you look like to Emma. She's never seen you before outside of giant goddamn crab man. Oh, that's right. Uh, well, we do have the sheet in D&D &D, uh, section if you want to look at it, Emma. But for reference, I am seven foot, about 200 
between 200 and 250, we can say pound crab man with stalks for eyes. I'm on my lower torso, human with one side of my body having a human hand. The other part being a giant crab claw that is basically a shield. On top of that, I wear a barrel fastened to be armor on my upper torso with kind of... Have you ever seen samurai padding? Like, for your legs? Yeah. Where it's folded? It's like that. Okay. And my character's shell is blue in color. Kind of, if you know what a king crab looks like, then there you go. Or a coconut crab. Or a coconut crab. Coconut crab might be a little bit better for you. Uh, and with nice reddish meat in the middle. Where, in between the crevices. Okay. Sounds terrifying. <laughs> All right, hold on here. So I gotta add my wisdom modifiers and my listen modifier. Sarah, you find yourself at the other side of this crab, staring at this giant blood-covered crab. He used to be blue, but now he is red. He is also twelve feet tall. Well, Whoa. I thought it was seven. Yeah, but he had I an enlarged potion. Crab you? Is that you? Hold on. <laughs> Wait, what's his name? His name's Graccio. Right, it's Italian for crab. On my roll. Twenty-four for your listen check. Yeah. Damn. Okay, so he hears me. I'm pretty sure. All right, Graccio. You just got done dealing with these pests, and you just helped these people get free. And then you hear a voice behind you. I think you might have missed one. All right. So go so ahead. I'm... Would you like to turn around? So... I turn around slowly, you know, cracking my one knuckle against my claw. Uh, does <laughs> it look like... Oh. Go ahead. Hmm? Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, uh, you go ahead. Uh, no so, question. Well, and looking back, I don't see too much. I don't see anything. So instead, what I do is I get my canal and I swing that motherfucker on the ground. Oh, shoot. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> Roll your attack, I guess. Not not towards her, just as an intimidation. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm so far enough away, I think that I don't... Yeah, yeah, she's still ten feet away. It would just be more like, you know, who the who wants to fight next. Okay. Oh, man, I, I don't want any trouble. I just am surprised. I've never seen someone of your... Oh, so you're lies. kidnapping people and don't expect trouble, huh? No, no, no. I was one of the kidnapped. I escaped. Roll diplomacy. Uh, okay. What? Rolling. Uh, okay. You will be adding your charisma modifier as well as your ranks. What number do you have, Emma? Just add up what number you got and I'll add up the dice that I rolled. Okay, hold on. So, uh, I have the diplomacy s skill, right? I, I look at yes. that and then... Yeah, yeah, you look at the number you have in that. Okay, so... The whole thing is 11. The ability plus the ranks, right? Right. Yeah, it's 11. Awesome. I got a 10, so you got 21 all 21. together. 21, nice. Not bad. All right. All right. We'll continue from here then. Yeah, Grancio, oh, it sounds like she's so? telling the truth. <laughs> so I let out a little... <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? I'm sorry, man, you're... Very uh, intimidating, and also so I I I, uh, I kind of walk towards her and I extend out my crab claw that's all like covered in man meat. I'll I'll pass on the handshake. Uh, but nice to meet you. My name's Sila. Where am I? So you're you're on the other side of the crab. crab. You see him getting friendly with this stranger. Would you like to approach? Yes. God, God, you! Uh, did you not hear me, friend? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Well, no? this is... Oh, hi! Sarah, would you What's like to name? describe yourself? Yes. Should I do it in my voice? You can or... do it however you like. <laughs> Just make sure you do a good job at describing yourself so I don't have to. <laughs> you got it. All right. My character is Zelina. I am a five-foot small tiefling who is light green who, happen, who also happens to be a druid. She has 
purple hair, dark black eyes, except for her little pupils, which are purple. She has a little ring that's tied around her left horn. And to picture her horn design, think about a longhorn cow. But with like, like, like the longhorn bull cow thing, but with rounded out horns. She also has this big thick tail that drags behind her. She kind of looks like a small dragon, or at least somebody who would like to be a little dragon. She has these cute little gloves on that is a fingerless, but it kind of covers up her palms. She Did I say that she has like a green hooded coat that she has with her? Well, she has that. She's also a tiefling. I forgot to say that. That was very important. Okay. She, she, she's just small. I, I think, I, I didn't really describe really how my character looks, did I? I mean, I still No, you think, did. But, Would I you like to do that like, a little bit better? Her. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. So Sila is a rogue and she's yeah, I've got sort of like uh olive skin tone, black hair that is uh tied up in a ponytail and shaved underneath and um she has a lot of jewelry she, and um she's wearing sort of like just kind of the basic rough g- gender neutral clothing kind of androgynous um and she doesn't look that old but doesn't look super young either like uh since she's half elf she kind of just you know always looks good <laughs> and <laughs> right um, yeah i can't really think of anything else all right Um, Sarah seeing uh, Sarah and Grancio seeing that uh, Emma was sprung without either one of your help, you can assume that Nero is getting to work at si- helping out other slaves that are underground. Ooh, I I still have my staff in my hand, so they clutch the of staff. Course. There might be trouble down there. Luckily, I just got my brother out. But should I go back? Uh, hello there, friend. Did you see anybody that was dangerous down there while you were escaping? Dangerous? I mean, yeah, I saw a whole lot of people. <laughs> All these people with these strange jackets and a strange eye symbol. Mm. I don't know how to describe them, but I think they're part of some organization or something. Uh, yeah, Jack, uh, would I need to roll? Oh, sorry. Oh uh, yeah, they're they're, they're probably they're the ones that caused all this mess. Uh, I don't know what I should do. I have a staff and I'm ready to fight, but of course I just got my brother back and I don't want to leave him alone. I'm still really not sure what's going on, but I mean I'm ready to fight too. If we'll be saving people. What was your question, Cannoli? Uh, I was going to ask if I needed to roll an intelligence check to remember the detail of the lieutenant that we fight. I thought uh, we have to, to, to connect it together. If you yourself remember it, I'm not going to make you roll. I'll only make you roll if you actually don't remember it, but your character might. But now, nah, if you remember it, so does your boy. Of course. Yeah, same person. Or at least same group. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I didn't, want to, I didn't know if we could draw conclusions. Of course you can. You can always draw conclusions and make assumptions. You only know as much as you have. And uh, <laughs> as far as that goes, uh, yeah, sounds like he, they're part of the same fan club or whatever the fuck. Same fuck. <laughs> I'm going to refer to them now to that as Jack. <laughs> Go for it. I've, I'm trying to put in, like, how you would describe them. <laughs> the dress-up ball fan club is around. Great. Running around in the sewers. Oh shit! Why oh, in the sewers, though? Ugh, disgusting. Maybe it's because they can't be seen, and nobody wants to look down there consciously without having to be forced to look down there. I maybe mean, they that's look a like pretty rational like explanation. But yeah, and Stay maybe nasty. because crap gathers other crap. Wait, hold on. Crap. I look over to Zelina, and I'm crap like, "You're learning is... good, kid." Crap get what did you say? <laughs> Oh, maybe I should use uh, bigger words. Uh, shit gathers more shit. Oh, uh, they said crab, not crap. No. <laughs> I was like, why is this crab? <laughs> you know what? 
Sarah for saying that. I only have four gold coins left. I'm giving you a coin. You deserve oh. it. You deserve one gold <laughs> for that. It's like the Thank swear you. jar, but in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> I you know, like you know, my character is over there just happily seeing his like non student, you know, learning all the way from his mannerism. God, all right. Oh, thank you. So uh, I'll, I'll put it in my pocket. So while you guys are doing all this, uh you start noticing more and more people popping out of manholes and stuff. They're all rushing in their homes and then p- coming back out shortly after with weapons drawn. It looks like they're starting to form a militia together. Sweet. All right. So, whatever disorganization of these fanboys are, whatever you said, whatever word you use, Garancio, we we need to stop them. We need to get attention to the people and have them rise up because even though we might not be a lot. I'm pretty sure that we will outnumber these bad guys. They're trying to rely on the fact that they know what they're doing to get at us. You know what? How f- is the crowd currently outside, Jack, or are they still gathering? They're still getting together. A lot of them are outside. A lot of them are inside. You can see some All of them right, are so starting to organize. Uh, you also remember uh, on Nero's words that the, the queen herself may not actually be the queen. So... It might not be a bad idea to start checking out that castle now that the whole slave situation's handling itself. Uh, all right. Um, do you mind if I make a quick check really quick for something? Something for later. Uh, sure. Is this a little special uh, something something, or can you say it out loud? Yeah, no, this is something something special, because I want to grab... I want to see if there's anybody in the crowd that knows this. So I want to raise my Krabby Claw, you know, and go a little bit of, like, clackety-clack. Of course. And I want to try and, and ask if anyone here is an explosives expert, any alchemist. <sighs> all right, all right, go for it, go for it. Uh, first things oh, first, baby. you're trying to draw attention to yourself. Uh, I will say... What would be... Fuck it! Do, do diplomacy. Diplomacy? Why not? Okay. Oh, that is a dead roll. That is... Okay, so I got a 16... And that would be plus charisma, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so that'd be an 18. Damn! Alright. You raise your claw up, and you call out to them, and they look back. Say your words. So I shout very, not aggressively, I should say, but in a tone that requires immediate attention. To any alchemist out there, report here immediately. Uh, you see, uh, you see two women and then a dude who looks much like a doctor walk up. And the doctor immediately walks up. Are you hurt? Are you in need of aid? And then he pull, starts reaching his bag for his potions. Oh shit, this actually helped two, twofold. Uh, so can I accept, or would that be one action? You can accept, well, you're not an initiative, so yes, of course you can accept, but uh, uh, like this isn't what you want. I will also say this isn't what you're looking for. You're getting supportive, okay. not destructive. <laughs> so I look down at the doctor and I'm like, no, no. Help the others. I need an explosives expert. I don't think we know much about explosives, but, uh... Barbear! Barbear! And then you see this dwarf with a pickaxe on his shoulder, eye patch over his eye, and he has a peg leg, and he hobbles over, and it looks like he has a bag as well over his shoulder. Hey! What do you need?! <laughs> I look up, so dude, Grancho is excited. Just not just just from seeing another warrior of classic. <laughs> he goes up and goes, "Hi, what do you need, Krabby? <laughs> I need you to blow a real big fucking hole. Hey, I can do that just fine. You point where I need to blow, and I'll start blowing. <laughs> Shut up." <laughs> 
<laughs> you didn't say anything. Zel- I just knew instantly. Zel- Zelina holds up her staff and points us to the castle. Good sir, we're going to need to blow up that castle. We feel that there is an imposter to the throne. He kind of squints at you a bit. I, I think the battlefield's not a place for a little girl to be flying around. <laughs> oh, and this little girl managed to kill one lieutenant. Crash a lieutenant, you soul? say? I'd say he's bad at his job, then. Oh, if it's the castle you need toppled, I'm your guy. She and he starts marching over up. there. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, so... <laughs> Of course, he starts walking over to the castle. The militia is still gathering up, and you see slaves are still getting popped out of the sewers. <clears throat> Seems like Nero's doing exactly what he's supposed to. Oh, no. Now, are you guys heading to the castle or dump, jumping down in the sewers? Um, I still have no fucking clue what's going on. I All right. would say I want to go straight for the castle with Bomir. If, uh, if those two want to head into the sewer, they can. All right. Uh, just for a little bit of background explanation, uh, Emma, I don't know if you live in the north part of Stiff Dinsel or the south part, but I'm sure you would have heard rumors about disappearances happening lately. People have been okay. just turning up missing, and it, all the bounties have just been missing pe- person reports lately. Like, you have not been able to find good work in this town lately because it's always just missing people. You okay, can't find just, anyone anymore. What's and, up with the, the queen in the castle? Or um, You don't know anything about that. The fact that she might not be the real queen, that is absolute news to you. Okay, but with, so with how like, things wait. have gotten so out of hand, it makes sense. So I'm just like, wait, well, I, I don't know what's going on, but I'll just stick with you guys since I got nowhere else to be. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm going to head into the sewers again, Grancio. Nero might need some backup later on. There still might be guards who want to fight, so I'm, I'm going to go on. Hey, friend! So, new friend. Would you like to come with me or Big Krabby? Grancio. Uh, you seem a little less intimidating, so I think I'll go with you. <laughs> also, I got a so- score. I can't talk. Score to settle with those fuckers down there. Awesome! Okay! Also, I, I hold up my staff. I'm ready to smack some people. All right. Yeah, smack them. Let's do it. Smack. All right. Uh, so, um, I guess uh, we'll go with Grancio first because I think his thing will be easier to resolve. But, uh, Sarah, you and Emma jump down to the sewers. And then, Grancio, you follow the, the stoic little dwarf man to the castle. And you do see the militia start gathering around. They decide to follow you guys, you and Boromir, because it seems like you guys know what you're doing. So, yeah, you got a little militia following you around. Yes! All right, go <laughs> ahead. Lead the charge. Uh, so, first, before anything battle occurs, I do want to take one of my health potions, because I'm at 25 health at the moment. Of course. Uh, you didn't take the other health potion, so you only have lesser healing. That's 3d4 plus your con. Okay, so 3d4. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, this is going to take me a little bit here. What is that? That is a 2 to start off with. If you want one, I rolled a 4, naturally. No, no, no. Uh, Cannoli has to roll his own. Three. Cannoli has dice, therefore he will be rolling for himself. Seven. Sorry. Plus my con. <clears throat> Let's see here. So, that's 11, so I'd have 35 health back. Not bad. Hey! Alright, so I'm going to put health back at 35. Give me one sec, guys. I'm sorry. No, you take your sweet time. 35 health. Alright, so... Jack, I need to know something about where we are. Um, Now, are we on the outer perimeter? Is there any... I'm going to be oh embarrassed God. to admit this. I don't even have the map pulled up. I have it pulled up. So if we, from where, because when we painstakingly try to figure out where I uh, popped up from the sewer, around those little orange buildings at the top part of the map. Okay, Emma, by the way, map is at the very top of the D&D channel. 
I think we have it pinned. It's also very possible um, it's pinned. Um, I just wanted to ask Jack because I didn't know if there was like a moat. You know, with a drawbridge or anything, or... Um, no, there is no moat, but from what you remember, there was, uh, the weak spot of this castle was the giant wooden double doors at the front. Oh, I didn't even know that. All right, um, okay, that's perfectly fine. I was, I was planning on doing something a little different, but you know what? That will do. All right, good deal. Um, real quick, just for uh, direction's sake, if you are all looking at the map, as far as I remember, if you look at the top left corner of the map where the uh, orange cluster of building is, the top orange cluster of buildings, not the bottom one, the orange buildings are market dis. That's a market district, and anything orange is a store of some kind. Where that road crosses, looking at the vertical road going down, you are the next road over to the right, that T-junction. You guys are on that road, if I remember correctly. Okay. Zelina popped up at the intersection just down a little bit from that. Cannoli was at the T-junction itself. Emma, you popped up just like a little bit behind him. So a little bit further up that T-junction. Probably about okay. halfway up. But uh, Sarah regrouped with you and you guys jumped down that manhole up there. Cannoli, you're still at the center of the T-junction and people are beginning to follow you and cluster up. Okay. So, uh, there are two different ways you can go, um, but the fastest way would probably just be to go straight down that road that you're on, curving along, and you will get to the front of the building. Okay, so let's start traveling down there. Of course, of course, you march along one by one, and, uh, you know, everyone's starting to gather around as you further go down the street, and, uh, you find yourselves eventually... With like a, a hundred ban with a hundred men behind you, each one just another father or mother just trying to take care of their family with their weapons ready. Now, usually you'd be dealing with at least like people who understand how to hold a weapon, given where you're from. You know, everyone who isn't a fisherman are like are like uh, samurais of some sort or shamans or whatever, or at least like Wu Zhen, right? But um. These are all just, like, farmers and stuff with pitchforks and axes. So, you have 100 men, but they probably only have the strength of, like, 20 or 30. So, okay. you That's understand fine. to humble yourself. But at least you have the whole numbers game on your back. There's definitely enough people to fill this castle. So, um... To describe the castle, just for Emma to know, uh, this castle looks just like a Disneyland castle with, like... Uh, every circle on the map is a spire that goes up three stories. And then the center one, the big one in the center, that goes up like five stories above. And then, you know, you got the bridges and archways of the walls that connect all the spires all the way around. That right. big box in the center is only three stories high, level with the towers. And then it, of course, has a courtyard. It's the only beautiful thing in this town. Okay. All right. Um, are we still going to be going doing my quest towards the doors, or do you going to switch back to them? Um. Let's let's finish your thing up real quick. Let's get you inside, and then we'll switch to them. All right. Um, so I have a funny thing planned then. Of course. Um. So. I want to essentially have everyone gather outside of the doors, but be a little bit more quiet. Almost. You know. Obviously, you can't be too quiet. But enough, you know, to make it seem like the whole stomping and marching stopped. And I want... How do you pronounce his name? Bamir? It was Boromir. Oh, Boromir. My apologies. I want him to essentially get a bomb and light it in front of the door. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock on the door and see if anybody comes to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let me think here. So, you see Boromir, you know, you, you tell him this, right? You tell him to set up a bomb outside the door? Mm-hmm. Of course, uh, go ahead. Boromir, listen. Aye! Oh, shit you're gonna see. I need you to go up to that door, get the biggest fucking bomb you got, and put it right 
and, and light it, but make sure the fuse lasts a couple of seconds. I'm going to knock on that door, see if any of one or two guards come up. We're going to turn the front entrance into a fucking red painting. He bites down on a cigar. Biggest bomb, you say? He lights it with, like, a match. I am going to need a bowel! <laughs> you need a what? A barrel. Oh, barrel. A barrel? Yes. Shit, you have a barrel. Yes, you do. Um. <gasps> oh, you. Oh, I have to remove my armor? If you want to do your cool thing. <sighs> Hold on. Unless. Roll here, roll. On ten... How about this? How about this? Roll a spot check to see if you can't see a barrel laying around town. Right, Remember, you on. are in a town. What is that? Oh my god, my eyes. Okay, so that's a 12 base. Let's see if we get anything on spot. Spot is wisdom base. So that's a 14. A 14 in total? Yeah. Okay. You look around real quick, look at yourself, and you go, mm. and then you look up, and then you see, at the end of the road, there is a barrel right next to a house. You're sure they're not really using it outside of just a trash can. Would you like to get that one? Uh, yeah, I want to instruct some of the mob to basically go grab it for me. Of course, yeah, you kind of gesture over there. And then, you know, Boromir's kind of waving them on, you know, to get the barrel. A group of people do get the barrel. They dump out the trash on the road and, you know, bring it over towards the door and drop it down. It smells foul. Must be, like, old and rancid. But uh, anything that's in it is no longer in there. And Boromir's like, all right, that'll do. Give me, like, five minutes and I'll get it all sorted. And on that note, we will uh, switch over to the Tiefling and Emma. Emma, you guys jump down to the sewers, and um, you you hear uh, a dwarf rambling on above you. Uh, something about blowing people. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but, Man, that dwarf seems more sexual than a bard would be. Interesting. <laughs> oh. He I mean, must I'm really like sexual to... dwarf. Wink, wink. He must really not get a chance to blow his load. <laughs> oh well, come on, we got we got to find Nero. He's a, he's a he's, he's a guy. He's he's Who, cool. Who's Nero? Is he a friend of yours? Uh, yeah, Nero is a friend. He is a bard. He has a uh, dirty green hair, and he actually is the one that told us about this organization. Oh, he said he said that they were essentially. Slave makers kidnapped people, sold them off as slave for work stuff, and from the looks of it, he seems pretty scared. And I do remember earlier, uh, earlier he was scared by one person in particular. He looked like another tiefling, but apparently he was a demon, a devil. I couldn't understand what he was saying though. I didn't know their language. So, with that probably person being down here, I want to make sure Nero doesn't get hurt. I'm pretty sure he's the one who rescued me, so I think he's got it going for him. Right. But we gotta make sure that we're there for backup. He, um, he's more like a runner instead of a fighter, and I have this staff. I hold up my staff. Yeah. I, I can do <laughs> I some noticed. smackage. I can do some smackage with this. I have shillelagh on it. It adds even more damage. You don't have shillelagh on it right now. I, I, what do you mean? I put it, only it lasts on. A minute. I, I, okay. It's like, never mind. It's not so laid right now. But you, you see, but you see, Zelina hold up her staff, and then you see its magical glow slowly fade, along with her hopes and dreams. She was super excited about it, and then you see her optimism go with the glow. Uh, she goes, it's okay. I'm sure it's still a great staff. It could do some great damage. It's just all about how hard you swing it, right? Yeah. I can smack him twice. <laughs> I, I, I demonstrate That's by adorable. smacking the air. <laughs> All right, like Emma, roll laughs. a reflex so she doesn't hit you. <laughs> no, no, I do it away. I do it away from her. Like I physically turn myself away and do the smack, so it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, <laughs> fine. I'll let you have this one for free. Thank you. 
Sweet. All right. So what are we waiting for? Let's get down there. All right. Uh, also, are you able to see? Uh, yes, I can actually see pretty well in the dark. It's part of awesome. my you know, half elf blood. If if you couldn't, I was willing to hold your hand and lead you in the way. I could see oh, without. That's me. adorable. Thanks. I I did it to the I did it to the Nero too. He he can't really see. He doesn't have much vision. Well, I hope Anyways. you're as nice as you seem. Well, I, I don't really have well, a lot of other options right now, so. It's it's been a pretty few days. I'm I don't really know what to do with myself anymore. But I'm gonna I'm going to be nice as I can. Except you for when they try to my You you hear uh, splashing in a tunnel next to you. Must be that guy <laughs> running by again. Quick, Lena, we gotta hide. Good point. We, we must be get left. But I want to find. I want to. I want to go where this person's going, as well. You want to follow the scary splashing? I, I think the scary splashing could be um, a bad guy that could potentially try to hurt Nero if he runs into it. I want to make sure that he doesn't. I mean, sure. I guess. We can try I mean, to of sneak course, up on him. of course, I'll try to be sneaky and not be hidden. Or, or be hidden and not be seen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, imagine me wanting to go up against the bad guys and not be hidden. It's almost as if shouting my brother's name in a place where my brother's been enslaved is in front of bad, many bad people. That's not a good idea. I can't yeah. talk right now. I'm sorry. I can't either. I'm having a hard time acting, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> no, you're doing great. You are doing great. Also, what is that sound? That's Cannoli's uh, phone having a heart attack. It happens all the time. Don't worry. Hold on. I'll, I'll jumpstart its heart. Give me one second. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it worked. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. I so down you guys are following here. the crazy man. Yes, we're following We're all new man. characters. All right. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but um. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and make uh, move silently checks, both of you. Uh, okay. Sarah, are you gonna roll for me first? Yeah, I'll roll for you first. Alright, I rolled a 13. Okay, then move silently. I have that, um, uh, 7. So 7 That's plus 13. Seven. You got it's 20. it. 20. Hey, yeah, you. Move silently. You are silent while you're moving. All right, Lena, follow me, just like this. Try not to make too much sound. I know it's hard with the water, but it's gonna my go name very is Alina. Alina. Zelina. Zelina. With a Z. Have a, some some okay. people have a similar name with Selina. I heard that there is a character called Selina Kyle somewhere, but no, I am Zelina with a Z. Or some okay. people would say Z. But that's weird. Anyways, oh, it's Zelina. All right, Emma, you might actually recognize that character. Would you like to make an uh, wisdom check on Selena Kyle? <laughs> Selena Kyle? What? Why? Would you like to for world building? Sure. All right, go ahead. Wisdom check. Add your wisdom to a raw roll. Batman exists in fantasy Detroit. <laughs> no, I got something else planned for this. Oh, it's gonna be good. Sarah, did you roll? Oh. 16. 16, what? and then I just add my wisdom modifier? Yes. Yeah. Uh, 2. So All right. So, um, you think about it when, when, uh, oh yeah, Selena Kyle, the legendary tabaxi acrobat from the circus. You loved her as a kid. Okay. Sure. So basically, Tabaxis are cat people, like Khajiit from Skyrim. Oh. <laughs> so she's just this tiger woman who does backflips and somersaults on tight ropes. There was also a rumor that she was stealing from the crowd too, whenever she wasn't out there performing. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay. There was also other rumors that she was extremely horny, but those were never proven. I mean, I, I just Ooh. assumed, yeah. I mean, she is a cat. She's a cat person, and I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are horny for her, too. I roll for hot bewillas. Uh, you, you find a MILF, and it's your mom. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> All right, she uh, <laughs> she moves silently, and now I need to roll for move silently as well. Yes. yes, now it's your turn after you went on that tangent. You should have been spotted by now, but I'll let this go. <laughs> I whispered it into her ear. <laughs> yes, but you weren't hiding. <laughs> You okay. might be talking quietly, but you're still standing in the middle of the fucking tunnel. <laughs> but let's just ignore that for a minute. Make your move silently. Okay, um, okay. All together, 12. Okay, and add your thing. Oh, wait, that's all together. Um. Mm -hmm. So she's, like, a little louder than me, maybe? Yeah, no, her, uh... Her, uh, shoes are still kind of wet, so they're a little bit squeaky against the smooth stone. Can she take off her shoes? In the sewers? In the I sewer? mean, I guess. <laughs> you want some foot fungus? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> that moment. Tell you what, no, she you did say you were helping her out, so I'll give her a plus three, which makes her a little bit better. Okay. But so you guys Jesus go... Christ, your fucking shoes! <laughs> But, um, you guys are moving through the sewers, and, um, you, uh, oh, uh, that was disgusting. Um, but, uh, I burped into the mic. I'm very sorry. Also, Cannoli, is that your... Cannoli, I'm gonna fist fight your phone. Hold on, I'll give it CPR again, one sec. Do you not have headphones in or something? <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> Damn, you need a new phone. Come on, let me do it with the money. I totally have. Just no. beat the shit out of your dad and take his PlayStation. <laughs> Just see if you can get a, you can get one of those like burner phones. I have a Samsung. All right, back on topic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Samsungs are pretty good burners. It's funny because you can set them on fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sewers. Sorry, let's get our mind on topic. Shit water. You ankle deep. Got it. Okay, we're good. Anyways. Yeah, you guys follow the, the dude that's sprinting up this way. Now, you guys are kind of crouch walking through while he's running. But you do see him at a clearing. And uh, you do see Nero running from him, actually. Sprinting and heaving. And you see him climb up the ladder as this dude chases him up the ladder and out of the sewers. Oh no. You also hear him fine. murmuring to himself faster and faster. The lady will not be pleased. We will have to report this immediately. Wait, they finally spoke English? Or the common? Yeah, he spoke common finally. It's not that weird devil language anymore. Because it's definitely not elven or dwarven. That's definitely not common, but now he's speaking common. I, I tap him on the shoulder. Uh, that, that's new to me. And, and we should probably go after him. Come on, let's go. Okay. Like, like, stop sneaking. We gotta go up there. He can hurt Nero. What if we get everyone else's attention, too? I, gra I grab her wrist and start to pull her along. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> Okay, what? Emma, would you like to make a diplomacy to try to stop her? Uh, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, say your words. Um, she is also dragging you along, and you guys are no longer hiding. So, say your funny words, magic man. Say them fast. I'm not, gonna say my, I'm not gonna say my words until I get the diplomacy. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, get your roll first. Sarah, roll it. Or cannoli oh. roll it. It's cannoli's turn, roll, roll it. Yeah, please roll it, I got that one. Oh! You got 13. Okay, we'll just do the 13 because I want Cannoli to roll. You're so <laughs> fucking lucky I didn't let Sarah roll. Wait, and that one would have then... ruined your day. 13 and then plus my... Diplomacy. Diplomacy. Unless you would like to do Intimidation. No. 
uh, diplomacy because that's plus eleven. Dang. All right. So okay, that's a twenty-four. <laughs> Woo! All right, yeah. Okay, so okay, I'll say my words. So I I pull Zelina to a stop. I'm like, Zelina, listen. I know you really want to help your friend, and I understand that it's really scary, but we need to think about this carefully, or we can get him in even more trouble. Understand? So we can try to sneak up there, and then we can run after them once we get close enough. Okay. I, I'm i just afraid that I won't be able to help him. It'll be I, okay. He can handle himself from the looks of it. But, you know, we'll... We gotta be patient. He doesn't like to fight, though. He likes to run away. And he well, he's good tired. at running, so... He also can go <laughs> invisible, from what I've seen. I know, but that guy could smell him. I know. Bards are fucking great. <laughs> what? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm jerking myself off here. You go, you guys keep enjoying yourselves. Okay, then. Anyway... <laughs> I'm 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 still bad at acting. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. No, it's okay. It's okay. So the first session is always the hardest one. This is your first session. You're gonna be kind of shit. After this, you're gonna be amazing. Don't worry about it. Okie dokie. You just do whatever comes naturally, and whatever you like the most, stick with it. If you feel most comfortable just being yourself, then that is what you should be doing. Okay. You just you just get right at home. All right. Okay, so, so I convinced I convinced Sarah that we're gonna uh, not just run after them. We're gonna try to like uh, still follow behind them. All right. And then yeah, um, yeah. So you're still you're still tailing them, but you're not gonna just sprint out the sewers. You're gonna try to find an alternate way around. I think we're still gonna go out the sewers, but we're we're just gonna like you know kind of try to blend in with the crowd until we get close enough, I suppose. All right. Do we have to roll anything else? Um, just... I guess another move silently. Okay. All right, rolling for you. Oh no, I rolled a five. I have pretty high move silently, so let's see. So that's five plus seven. So that's twelve. Okay, that's still not great. Plus your well, did you roll yet? Yeah. Uh, that's you. Okay, so if you're counting my dice, you got a 30. No, no, no. We got a, Sarah rolled. They're adding that. Although, yeah. did you add your dexterity with it? Wait, what? Sorry, what was Sarah's roll again? It was a uh, 6, I believe. It was a 5. It was a 5. My bad. And then my move silence will use a 7. Alright, that's adding your dex as well. Yeah. Okay. So that is five plus seven. I think. Uh, move silently. Wait. What if we help each other be silent? Um. You would have to roll pretty high. All right. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Please roll high. Please roll high. Please roll high. I got seven. What's your move silently? Oh. Yes. Uh. No. Not. Not yet. Not yet. Eleven. All right. All together. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, you guys are not quiet at all anymore. Okay. <laughs> you're you're standing in the water and you're splashing around. It's yeah. You smell bad and you are you know tromping. Yeah, we so we are. Have we gotten out of the sewer yet, or are we go on our way out? Or? Yeah, no, you're looking at the ladder right now. You can be climbing out now, but um, make a reflex check, both of you, as you hear a loud explosion collapsing the tunnel that you guys are currently in. Both of you make reflex checks. Sixteen. For me. All right, you you make it, and then for Emma. For Emma, I rolled a six. All right, what's your reflex, Emma? Reflex? Where's reflex? 
Uh, it's no. her character sheet's a little bit different looking. She's using a three point five paper. Oh, maybe it's um. Hold on, let me check. It should say reflex on it. It's right underneath. Uh, it's above your base attack bonus, underneath your uh, your stats, your skill, your strength dex con. You'll see fortitude, reflex, will. Oh, reflex, yeah. Uh, nine. A nine plus your six. That it's a just barely make it. You uh, dolphin dive out of the way and land on your stomach as the, the way you were going up is now completely collapsed from a what? explosion that was down the tunnel earlier. And then it clicks. The dwarf wasn't blowing people. On that note, we will switch to uh, Cannoli. Okay. Cannoli, you uh, you knock on this door after Boromir sets up this barrel. Can I say a phrase? Can I do something funny? Yeah, yeah, do your do your thing. So this might eat a blood, so I don't know. Um, real quick, real quick, Crazy says you're doing a better job than they were role playing, Emma. Yeah. Yeah, see? I'm trying my best. And you're, it shows. It really shows. Gotta go. Go ahead, so, Cannoli. I go up to the door, and in Grancho's high-pitched voice, this is gonna be... Oh! It would be amazing if a damsel or a guard would come save this damsel in stress. <laughs> <laughs> it's very convincing. <laughs> I would sure like to favor him. <laughs> oh my god! Roll of diplomacy at minus five. No, bluff. Bluff, yeah. Minus five? Unless, god. unless there's like a deception. No, minus seven, not five. Deception. Wow, why? That is not a convincing voice at all. I think it's pretty convincing. <laughs> but yeah, come out from a crab man. Coming from a big crab man, probably not very convincing. Coming from cannoli, very convincing. All right, so that is bluff. Yeah, we'll do bluff. <laughs> Damn, does it have to be a minus seven? Yes. Aww. you're mean. <laughs> do I at least get anything on that? Well, uh, no, you get whatever you add to it, plus your minus seven. seven. So that'd be a seven. <laughs> that'd be a seven? All right, there's a dude who opens the door with his spear, and he's wearing this armor, and he's like, Oh, I right, listen here, you rapscallion! And then he fucking explodes. <laughs> <laughs> the doors slam open, and, you know, all the guards are alerted. You see all the, all the torches... Uh, all the, all the, um, basically, it's like the Mulan, the Great Wall, where they light those things. As soon as that explodes, like, not even ten seconds later, all of those are lit up. Oh. Now the whole castle knows that you guys are here. Now all of China oh, yeah. knows you're here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, would you guys like to start storming the castle? Uh... <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, can I take half of my unit? Of course, of and... course. You see Boromir sits down on a rock. Aye, right, that was a beaut. I think it's time for a drink. <laughs> Great. And then he, he opens up his own flask and starts chugging it down. Smells like moonshine. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor <man>. why? <laughs> That's all you're getting out of him. Dang. Ah, well. It helped. I like it. Um. Seems like a good you? friend. Bad, bad company, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> do I have anyone using bows, or it's just pitchforks and uh, hatchets, stuff like that as a sword? Um, roll a d4 and get a 1. And get a 1? Yes. 
All right. This is a D4, right? At least a one? It has to be a one because that's what I got on mine. That is a one. Holy shit. All right. Yeah, you will get a uh, fucking... All right, seven of the people following you have bows, and then, um... The three of them have crossbows. Okay. So you got ten archers, two, three of which are crossbowmen, and then seven others are bowmen. The crossbowmen are stronger, but they take longer to reload their bows. Or their crossbows, oh, rather. Imagine. They're basically going to be shooting every other round, whereas the seven bowmen will shoot every round. All right, and how many guards am I facing at the moment? Uh, zero right now, since you're at the gate and you just opened the door. All right, um, I'd like to make a spot check. I'd like to see if there's anything, uh, flammable. Um, you can obviously tell right now, everywhere you look, the only thing flammable is the garden to your right, which, as secluded as it is, probably wouldn't do much outside of, you know, it wouldn't do much outside of, say, fuck you. But, uh, you're kind of here on a mission. I think that'd be for the after party. <laughs> um. Okay, so I just want some help describing the environment around me. Uh, I'm imagining we're in the grand foyer, or the, where the grand entrance would be. Yeah, Is you're right at the front door. Inside? The front door Is blasted open. Inside? You are not inside. Oh, okay, so we're, we can't see too much. Um, you are at the wall. The wall has this giant door that has been blasted open. In front of you is a grand staircase that will lead you up to the front door. Um, if I have any spearmen, uh, I'd like to have them in front, and I'd like us to start moving as a unit. All right, they're actually pitchfork men, but of course you can organize them. Yeah. Uh, you just kind of go, lower your forks and lead them forth. And, of course, you do. The forks lead forth, I guess. You should have said that, but you know what? You've never led an army before, so I'll let this slide. <laughs> U.S. Cannoli has never led an army before. I don't know anything about Grancio. No, Grancio would be Bulgard, cause, so you'd be under command, not leading in command. All right, yeah, but uh, you, you kind of got a general idea of what it's like. So, yeah, you, you start doing your shit. <laughs> And you start marching inside of the castle. Let's, uh... Oh, uh, we'll go a little bit longer. Yeah, so you get inside, pitchfork men leading forth. You see the front doors open up, and there's, like, a good group of guards. Now, um... These guys are wearing black armor instead of, like, their standard, like, red and silver. Oh, God, I'm so disgusting. Holy shit. <laughs> Uh, they're wearing black armor with, like, white eyes scribbled on them rather than the red armor. Seeing that they display themselves openly now, this is the turn for the worst. It's a good thing you guys are doing what you're doing now. Ooh, shit. Uh, what weaponry are they, what weaponry are they using? Um, you're looking at, uh, ten of them right now. Uh, three of them, or four of them have spears, whereas six of them have swords. Shit. Looks like they are taking a more defensive role, blocking the door entirely with the spears. Okay. Um, shit. If there's nothing able to be burned that takes out what I was really going to do, um, I'd like to make a spot check, see if anything uh, is, what would you call it, kind of like if you were hit by a crossbow bolt, it would fault over. I don't know how you would describe that. Fault um, or kind of rusty. I, I, get, I get what you're trying to do. You're trying to drop a hazard on them, environmental stuff. Uh, make a spot check. Okay. Ah, where'd my dice go? That's not gonna work. At best, it's a five. Yeah, I only got a five. You're looking at these people, and you're like, they're flammable. Maybe if we threw burning pitchforks at them, it would knock them over. Burning pitchforks? And then it hits you. Excellent. Where are you going to get the fire? Oh, I have an idea. Big brain time. 
big brain <laughs> time. Let's see it. Big brain time. So, tell me. Um, could either hemp is hemp rope or a bundle of or some firewood flammable and can be attached? Hemp rope could be attached to anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to. So, uh, how much hemp rope? How much is hemp? Blah, 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 blah. How much per foot is an inventory worth of hemp rope? I, uh, you have 50 feet of hemp rope, unless you cut it. Unless you've already so done something it. with it, you have 50 feet by default. No, no, hemp rope hasn't, it's only been used for the grapple hook, I think. Alright, uh, yeah, so you're um, going to, I think I know what you're going to do, but I'm asking anyways, are you, uh, attaching, you're going to cut this rope up and attach it to the spears? Oh, uh, yeah, I was going to attach it to the pitchforks, and, uh, if there's any candles, let, throw them through it. <laughs> Oh, man. Or torches, yeah. You know what? There are people with torches here. You can easily swipe one from one of the dudes and just start, you know. Yeah, so if we can, uh, we'll we'll light the ends of the pitchfork on fire with the hemp rope. All right, yeah. So uh, you go ahead. You tie these. You tie knots firmly around, like, the heads of the pitchforks, and you start lighting them each. And now you have ten burning pitchforks ready to be thrown at this gate. All right. So I'm imagining the gate being the blockade of men. Yes. You see okay. the men up at the top of the stairs are beginning to reorganize themselves as they see what you're about to do. And they switch from the spearmen being in the front to them now being in the back. And the shield people or the sword people are now in the front with their shields ready to take the, take the spears. But now that they've changed, it's easier to approach them now. All right. So um, with that in mind, I want to form into a phalanx. All right. And slowly push forward. Uh, spears out frontward with my archers behind said spearmen. Well, I have swordmen, right? Um, Not really. You have people with torches. That is the closest thing you got to swords. They're like oh, clubs. Okay. Oh, perfect. Um, so the way I want that phalanx to be approached, I want my, um, you know, pitchfork men in the front. I want my uh, torchmen behind them, followed by the spearmen or by the bowmen with the crossbowmen in the back. Of course, of course. So, um. All right. Uh, one more time, please. Total war. <laughs> yeah, no, you're. For a militia, these guys are fairly organized. Without your help, they would just kind of be walking themselves to death here. But uh, you go ahead. You organize them one more time, please. So, uh, pitchfork men are in the front. So imagine in four rows, your pitchfork men are in the front, followed by the torchmen. You'd have your archers behind them and the crossbows in the way back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're leading with the torches and then you got the crossbows as support. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, because I want my spearmen in the front, essentially, and All right. my bowmen can shoot through the torches to have flaming arrows. Yeah, go for it, go for it, yeah. So the people raise their torches up high on your order, and... um. The arrows start raining down as the spearmen begin to approach. Right. Kelly's uh, turning this into a battle simulator, and I love it. Crazy <laughs> loves your tactics. Of course, your your tactics fucking work. Uh, hold on, real quick, real quick. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll for these uh chances to hit. I'm just gonna roll five d twenty, and then okay, double that. That was almost a 20. God damn it. All right. That's a two. Um, now, a lot of these being farm people and, you know, not really mi trained mili military, uh, a lot of them do miss. But uh, they all main mainly just start hitting the shields and getting deflected. 
but the arrows rain down, and yeah, it forces them back inside. Nobody's died yet, but the front door is now open. Okay, so they're they're retreating almost in a sense. Yes. With okay. the front gate open, you are able to push forward. Now, we will move to Emma and Sarah. Emma and Sarah, you hear that loud explosion. It collapsed the tunnels, the two tunnels you guys were coming from. Oh, the tunnel behind you was the one you were coming from, and then the one to your right was, you know, the tunnel that... It was another tunnel. You don't know where that went. Also, the manhole okay. above you is completely obstructed with dirt now. So wait, hold on. So uh, we have nowhere to go right now? We're completely stuck? Or is there still one tunnel that's on? There's one tunnel to left to your left. You kind of jump towards that way. You're not completely screwed, but now you can't follow Nero. Well, shit. Looks like we have no other option. <sighs> Get up on your feet. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> Can we run now? Sure, that's why not? <laughs> up to you guys. <laughs> I, I know, I'm asking her. Oh, my bad. <laughs> and I said, sure, why not? It's not like anyone's going to be able to get us here anyway. Of course. You guys start running through the tunnels. You can see fine, so you don't have to make any dex checks. And, um, I mean, the sewers aren't really typically traveled, except for that few paths that uh, Homeboy was taking. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to make you roll for slipping. So... <laughs> Okay. You guys maneuver yourselves through here fine. Do you have a direction in mind, or are you just trying to find a way out of the sewers? I think we're try. just trying to find a way out. I try to look for the ribbons that are posted to see which is the nearest exit. Um, Alright, you're following the ribbons. You roll it into a direction. Emma, roll a spot check to see if you can't find a sewer crate. I'll, I'll roll your spot check. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry. All together. Oh no. Seven. A seven. A seven all together. I'm not. <laughs> all right. I rolled a two. Sorry, Emma. Oof. Um. Okay. Yeah. Wait. What? What? What do you add to it for you? For me? Yeah. What? What's your for your spot? For um, two. I think it's three, but then we also added the one. Uh, yeah, I think it's three. Yeah, so, um, yeah, yeah, you, you don't. It's it's really hard. You're kind of moving fast right now, so. It's very okay. possible you overlook some possible exits. But uh, you do see ribbons on the pipes, and Sarah, so do you. Um, ribbons mark the exit or something? That Are you saying that, or...? No, I'm just I'm just wondering what the oh. ribbons are for. Um, it, if uh, do you have any uh, have you ever went mining before as uh, Scylla? Mining. Yeah, I think she's probably been in some caves and stuff. I don't know about mining, but she's a treasure hunter. So. All right. Have you ever been in a mine? At least you didn't have to do the mining, but have you ever passed through a mine? Yeah, probably. Then you would be able to vaguely recall that ribbons would be how uh people would uh help figure out their direction for, um, for, like, where they are. Usually ribbons mark an emergency exit. You know, when you're in the okay. mines and something were to happen, you need to know which way to go fast. Well, right. you guys are following these ribbons, and it definitely seems like you caught them somewhere in the middle because uh, you are led to a door, a wooden door. Wooden what in a is sewer? a wooden door doing in a sewer? No, it feels like it would start rotting or molding. Ew. Sarah? It must have been just new. Uh, that <laughs> is not important. Sarah, uh, if you would like to, I will allow you to roll a wisdom check, because wooden door down here actually might seem a bit familiar to you. Okay. Ooh, yes. Okay. 19 plus my 4 wisdom, and that equals a 23 in total. Wonderful. No. Yes. You remember this door perfectly. The only reason why this is here is because this leads to the castle dungeon. You are immediately underneath the castle right now. <gasps> this was the is way you guys came from when you were following Nero. 
Oh Yo, shit! This is this will lead to the dungeon. We can we can go. I can't speak. There's so much adrenaline going on. Yo, uh, Scala. Hopefully, I pronounced your name right. Sila. Sila. Okay, sorry. Let us. If we go through the store, we'll be able to go into the castle, which is a good way to escape. And maybe we'll actually be able to help. You know, attack from the inside. Isn't there going to be a lot of guards, though? And if we're going yes. into the dungeon, won't there be lots of locked doors? Emma, wisdom check. I have a, I have a staff. What do I need the wisdom oh, yeah. check for? Oh, Remembering for something. Um, okay. Hold on, let me get your roll. Okay. <laughs> Fifteen! Hey, Ooh, okay. what's your wisdom? And then, uh, two. All right. 17, that works. Yeah. Um, the guards might not be a problem. There was a big explosion. If that's close to the castle, they may be distracted. Oh, good point. As far yeah, as locked there's... doors go, you are a rogue. That's true. I can handle a few locked doors. <laughs> Yay! All right, oh, I let's forgot go. to set up your inventory. You're a rogue. I can assume you have a lock picking kit, right? Is yeah, that okay? Yeah, and I and I probably yeah, and I probably you know I also have a dagger, which is a pretty small weapon that I could probably lodge in between stuff if I need. Of to. course, of course. Tell you what, we'll do the inventory stuff later. That that'll be when Cannoli has to deal with real life, and yeah, we'll take that fifteen minutes to set your pockets up. As far as right now goes, right now, right now, you got a door. Oh, we're in front opening of you. that door. Oh fuck yeah. All right, it's locked. Is it locked? <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Is it locked?" Oh, you say it's locked. Yeah, yeah. I was about, I was about to have Zelina you know, try to open it as well, but I was a little bit slow. But yes, I mean, okay. if you want to open it, go for it. Yeah, the Selena, she can try to open it. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm at, Emma, I'm you walk up. I... You try to pull the door open. Selena, you walk up to the door. Go ahead. All right. I try to pull the door open. Is that what you're asking me? Yeah, uh, you're pulling the door open? Actually, I'm trying to push. I you're pushing push the door? door? Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, that'll be a... You know what? Walk, though, right? She'll have to, like, really put a yeah. little pressure on it. Just roll for open lock. That's dex. Okay. Uh, all together, 15. 15, you give this door a hearty push, and you kind of slide against it. Like, you know that thing you do when you go to push someone, but your feet slide and you just push yourself? You do that <laughs> yeah. to this door. <laughs> Tiny okay. little tiefling does this. All right, Jelena, let me try. I know how to handle this. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to roll for open lock. Yes. Who's going to roll for me? I'll do it. I missed. That's a nat 20. Woo! Alright. You I know what? Are just like barely touch it and it just fucking, oh, I'm just like. No, no, I, I got a great thing. Okay. Sarah, you try to push the door open. You're like, let me handle this. I know exactly what to do. And you go, you look down and you can see through the lock perfectly. You're like, wait a second. And you just pull on the door and it opens right up. <laughs> Unlocked. Must have been too small to be able to put enough pressure to open this door. Damn. Nah, nah. It was pull, not push. Oh, pull. <laughs> <laughs> Dummy. No, don't say that. Get fucked. Wrong <laughs> build. Wrong <laughs> build. <laughs> Fuck yeah. How do you know Emma was playing a Chad Jock Rogue? <laughs> oh, I played oh, Sly oh, Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it! Roll oh, no, twenty really. for steroid you stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. So, uh, Chad Brodick, I would like you to roll a open lock. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Seventeen! <laughs> Fucking suck it! You pick the lock. Yeah! <laughs> crazy. If you're still watching, you should clip that. <laughs> <laughs> I need all the funny clips. Chad Brodick. I love that name. Chad Brodick. That'll that'll be if if I ever put on a disguise as a man, that'll be that'll be my name. Yes! 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 
<laughs> All right. As of now, the door is open, and you're looking at this dingy dungeon with this orange torchlight ign uh, that ignites from every cell. Are um, the cells? Or can we not see that? Um, well, the light's coming from the cells. You can see into it, and it also lights up the center path, which is All held right. up by these pylons. I wish I knew how to you clip Emma. Some... Don't worry, I rec uh, I uh, record the streams and send them to Guy. Uh, if you guys want that clip separate, I'm sure he can set that up for you. Well, you what can, is this? Um, one hour thirty-five? Oh, yeah. Do you have the clips? Do you have the clip set? Um, do you have it so that um, after the stream, it's, it saves it on Twitch for a few days? Yeah, it does. Okay, yeah. I, then I can do it from that. Yeah, or I mean you that'll can. work I don't too. Know if I can't, but. Um, I'm sure I have you added as a friend. It'll work. If not, oh do well. Have, do you have sense trap, Emma, by chance, by the way? Sense trap? I have... Um... I don't think you can call him artist. that. Escape I have... Sense motive. Oh, I thought I there was one that you can sense traps as a rogue. I disabled device. Oh, let me see. My feet... I might be I can... thinking of disabled device. So I thought there was one that you can... Well, I have keen senses. That might be it, because I think there's a thing Innovation. that you can do to check the traps. I want to make sure that I'm getting this correct. We, we opened the door. Um, uh, scale up. I'm so sorry, Emma. Uh, opens the door by pulling it, and then we see, essentially, a lighted-up dungeon. Yeah, the dungeon's lit up. It's just as bright as you remember. It's not, like, really bright or anything. The light's rather dim. It's torchlight in every dungeon room, so. Alright. There are some rooms that aren't lit up. You, you can assume those are vacant. Okay. I just want to make sure. Are any of the prisoners, like, yelling at us to let them out or anything? Um, nah, pretty much a lot of people in here looks dead. Except, okay. make a spot check. Okay. I'll make a spot check, too. Alright. Alright. Right, you need me to roll. That's I'll order some crooked. Basic die. Ooh, twenty-two together. All right, Emma, you got fourteen. What's your spot? Uh, three. A plus three. All right, you got a seventeen in total. You um, you both see this. You see a beautiful woman in robes and a crown, the queen. The real queen. <gasps> in one of these cages. She looks weak. Malnourished. She's been here for a month, it seems. Oh my goodness. I, I, I rush up to her cell. You're skinny enough. You could slip through the bars if you really wanted to. I go through the bars. You do. You slip through and you walk over to her, I'm sure. Pardon me. Hello. She Wake kinda, up, please. She weakly looks over at you and kind of gives you a glare as she Hi. just kind of lays in this corner here. Don't Hi there. Would you like to get out? Don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Selena, is that the queen? I, I, I've i never... I, I instantly go into protective mode. I hug the queen gently because she looks weak. She doesn't protest it, probably because she can't. I, I walk <sighs> over to the cell. I'm just standing outside of it watching this happen. And I'm of like, course. Would you like to pick the lock to the door so you may join Not me? yet. Zelina, of course. are you sure that's the real queen? What would she be doing she in this dungeon? I don't know who she is. She's just... I need to give her comfort. I hug her again. I understand, but... You can't be too trusting in this world, you know? I must get hugs! <laughs> okay. Alright, she's gonna make a fortitude check to survive your hug. What? I'm assuming no! you're, I'm assuming you're <laughs> squeezing her tight. No, no, but I'm not so squeezing small. her tight. But she's so small. Sarah's so small. I'm just, that like, is true. barely she is holding tiny. on to her. I'm barely holding on to her. Alright. Well, you're not achieving much other than comforting her. She doesn't see... She realizes you're not there to kill her anymore, so... Uh, Although she I'm definitely gonna... seems uncomfortable at the moment. I'm gonna be like, Sarah, we don't have time for this. I'm sorry, but 
we gotta leave her be. She's too yeah, weak we to stand, even. I don't even know if she could escape if we let her out. Do we have food? Do you uh, have food? Emma, I want... Here, I'll roll for you. What's your search? Search? Um, five. All right, I'm going to roll for you to have the chance of having food in your backpack. That is if you want to give it. Okay. Yeah, I'm a... Do you want a backpack? Uh, I prefer it be like a satchel, but yeah. All right, that'll work. Okay. Uh, we'll worry about the details later. This determines whether or not you have travel travel rations. That's a nat one, so no, you don't. In fact, you're starting to feel kind of hungry yourself looking at this lady. Like, damn. I'm going to eat her. Oh no, you're I not going to eat her, but you're like, man, <laughs> that's a great idea. Maybe I should get some food for myself. Okay. Wait, I have travel rations in my pocket. I, throw, I bring out my pocket. All right, yeah, you reach in, you pull out. It's either probably going to be jerky or biscuits. Um, mm, jerky. It's going to be a delicious jerky. Unless you want it to be like trail mix or like sesame seeds or something. And then she's just something. like, I'm vegan. <laughs> no, wait, I'll say, <laughs> we'll say it's sun seeds. All right, yeah. Sun sunflower seeds. All right. You, I you hand her. I don't... Oh, go ahead. I don't know who you are, but you need some food. Have some sunflower seeds. I've, I've kept them safe so they, they're they not poisonous. I, I could detect that there was poison. There's no poison in you. She weakly reaches over and grabs some of them. Just a pinch. And she eats some of them. Um, I don't trust her. That's her fortitude check. Um, She has food in her system now, so... She should start perking up in a bit. Maybe maybe a little more than seeds would be helpful if you have more than just a handful of seeds. She probably needs water. I mean, we um, have sewer water, but... Here, tell you what, Emma, you want to roll another search Chocolate check milk. for water? Sure. All right. That's a nine. What's your search again? Five. Five. You got a half drank uh, water skin. Okay. All right. Yeah. Would you like to offer that to the lady? I I I, I hold it up and I'm looking at it. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit. There's not a lot left. And then I just quickly take one little sig for myself. Sig for myself. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, all right. The rest is for you. Drink it up. Of course, I, you I, hand I, her. I take you hand her a quarter of water skin left. It's got about two good sips in it. Uh, now, um, Sarah, you hand her the water skin since you're in the cell. You yeah, help her drink it? Yes, I help her drink it. Of course. You slowly pour it in her mouth and she begins to perk up more. And I will leave you guys with the with the lady. Cannoli. Okay. You are greetings. You are storming the castle. <laughs> of course. All right. So to your left and right, there are hallways that lead over and around and stuff. You know, the other places of the castle. In front of you, there is an archway that leads to this big open room, which has a spiral staircase at the center of it that you remember leads you to the throne room. Ooh, mm, yeah, I don't want to go there. I don't like spiral staircases, especially I know what they're used for. Yeah, you're a smart man. Um, so... Shit, I don't want to split my unit because they're not trained. Um... Is there any way or any place that has... Uh, I don't think there'd be like a watchtower inside or any elevated area, would there? Um, there's watchtower towers all around the castle connected through the wall. Maybe one of the side paths will take you directly there. Um, um you do right, see so... the guards that were pushed back. They are divided three and or uh, five and five on either side, and they are, are they starting to attract more guards. Um, you do also have uh, all your unit is starting to pour in more, and your uh, fifty men are now starting to deal with all the people in the hallways. Okay, so my 
Shit. I'm a little bit confused, but that's okay. Cause it's just yeah, sorry. Many you are in no, the no, middle no. of this, this uh, cross-section hallway. Behind you is outside. Okay. In front of you is the big room. And on your left and right, there are hallways. Your unit is pouring in. And the people that were watching the door have split apart because of how you forced them through. They had to decide either left oh. or right or straight back. And they both picked left and right for some reason. They didn't pick back. And um, that's... they're... They are uh, watching these two sides and guarding it heavily. All right. Um. So, all right. So, how am I gonna get my unit here? Um. Your unit strange. is starting to mix in with the other people too. Honestly, the fight's Shit. handling itself well. You could walk through here. They seem pretty well distracted. Um, if you have other goals in mind, at least. I want to actually take one crossbowman. One crossbow in with me right now. Of course. You see, uh, and, you see uh, this young elven boy with this crossbow. He has an auto loader, and you see him. He's like, he has this crossbow on his leg as he shoots it, and he slaps his leather on. He pulls it back, loads another bolt. And you grab him by the shoulder. <clears throat> Come on, huh. we got shit that needs to be done. Huh. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and he starts following you with this crossbow. I actually want to pick him up and sling him over my shoulder for a moment. All right, you big daddy style. Play. You pick him up by his collar and throw him over your shoulder. He, like, scrambles on and holds on tight the best he can. <laughs> he doesn't hold on as comfortably as Zelina, but it it's whatever. Uh, and I want to choose the left hallway. Left hallway? You shove through left the left hallway. hallway. And, um... Some people try to deviate, but uh, they get held up by the other men. It seems like they're starting to get overrun. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Is there any windows by chance? Um, to your left, yes, they lead outside. Um, all right, that's perfect, because this is actually something I wanted to do, so it's not exactly. Um, I want to actually see if I can send this boy out and see if I can get some more recruits to come in from the town. Oh, okay, yeah, you, uh, so what, you just throwing him out the yeah. window? Kind of, more like, you know, making sure it's kind of, uh, you want me to roll a spot check to make sure it's a safe, like, uh, amount of distance to drop someone? Go for it, yeah, you open up the window and you peek down. Alright, come on. Cool, that's nothing. <laughs> wow, okay, uh, you look down, it's about ten feet, but there's a bush down there, you're sure it won't break his legs. Sorry, yeah, it was a seven. That's why I was like, "Well, fuck." <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, no, no. You know what? I'm already in this situation. We might as well take the plunge. It's so, safe to assume that people are hearing more and more about the castle being stormed. Um. So do I? I know I never directly stated it, but would I still have that bell on my inventory by chance? The bell. What the bell, bell that I threw? We never recovered it. But I don't know if we would have recovered it automatically, or what's your call on that? All right. Either Zelina has it, or it's still in the spire. Hey. Apples to oranges, okay. you do not have the bell. Okay, that's fair. Um, Shoot, that makes it a little bit more difficult. So I want to put him down there, and I want him to run door to door and basically recruit more of the town. Kind of get a second reinforcement in engagement. So you are dropping him through the window, or where are you putting him? So I want to, like, hang him over a little bit and use my arms to extend down. But I'd say two feet would be a fair, so it'd be an eight-foot drop All right, yeah. into the bushes. You drop him down. It's actually going to be a little bit lower, including his own height. It's eight feet from your hand, oh. but his feet hang down, so it's more like five feet. You drop him down the okay. bush, and then he quickly realizes that's a thorn bush. <gasps> oh! Oh, God! What the fuck's wrong with you? Oh, oh God! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, no. <laughs> Shit. Is he is he pinned into it or he he just his legs went straight through and it looks like they've all been they all got cuts up him. He's wearing shorts. 
Oh, sick, man. Come on. <laughs> you roll a seven, okay. dude. Fuck. Okay. You know what? I mean, we're already in this. Uh, I have a potion. Can I can I toss it down to him? Yeah, yeah, you can toss it down. You can just dump it over his head. You can, you know, you can do a lot of things. Uh, well, considering he wouldn't need to drink it, uh, I guess we'll dump it on him. All right, yeah, yeah, you just kind of pop the cork and pour it on him. Uh, so we'll go ahead and... Oh, that is a very meaty roll. All right. Yeah, you pour it over his head and his legs seal up as if they weren't cut up. He's still within the bush, but that's his problem now. <laughs> so I look over and I'm like, listen, didn't I visit the one bush? I, I'll but call it even. What do you want? Out? Go tell the rest of the town we need reinforcements. Grab whatever you can. If it's a pot, a pan, a ho- horse shit, who, who cares? Anything. I'll tell my dad! You got it, crab monster! I'll be right <laughs> back! <laughs> and Groucho just leans back in. And I'm just, oh, yeah, you see the boy kind of slowly trudge out. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, my <laughs> legs! And then you see him kind of like limping out of the fucking castle. I feel like I'm watching Brick and Morty. (laughs) (laughs) Listen, listen, Morty, come on. Don't be a pussy. Morty, Morty, I need reinforcements, Morty. Morty, I need you to get more, more, uh, more, uh, 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 I, I need you to get more fucking people to help out. Oh, okay, I'll get Jerry. Don't get Jerry. You might as well go home. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, okay. (laughs) Oh, gee. And so Groncho pulls in from the window, and he's just grabbing his head. He's like, what a waste of time. I knew I should have taken those units. (laughs) Should have taken those units. All right. You do see the other half of the units start pouring into the castle. The other 50 men that you had wait outside or whatever. What were they doing again? Uh, Well, wait, no, I thought we brought the majority in because we had the spearmen in the front. We had yeah, you, torchbearers you, you, in the behind. Yeah. I thought you said you were splitting the unit, though, to down to 50. Oh, okay. I'm. That's my, that's my fault. Sorry. So that'd be more. I would have had them outside guarding it, so not to like to prevent anybody from doing a back attack. Oh, okay, yeah, the they're still out there. Then you want them yeah. to still? Okay, yeah. yeah. So start start letting them come in. I would say anyone with melee weapon would probably storm in first. Of course, yeah, and you had pretty much most of them just charge in. Um, yeah, but uh, the the kid goes out. And he probably just gets his dad. Let, let's see what he does. Uh, also looking out the window, you can see Boromir's passed out against the doorway. <laughs> I'm tempted to pick... <laughs> go out and pick him up. Actually, uh, I don't want to keep holding this entire thing up. I feel bad. No, that's fine. It's your turn. Um, you can waste as much time as you get... want. Just remember it has consequences in the long run. Okay. Um, one last action before we go back to, to the thing. I yell, so I want to yell to, I want to say, how how heavy is he? Who, Boromir? Yeah. He's a dwarf, so he's four feet tall, but he's also, like, fat. He's a fat dwarf man with <laughs> explosives on his body. Um, minus one eye, so that's, like, a half a pound off him. Uh, yeah, I'd say he's about 250 pounds of raw dwarf. That's at least right, a was- strength check. Yeah, I want to see if they can drag him in. Of course, so yeah. For... You, right, so... Are you going out the window or passing through the crowd once more? Because there's still an army behind uh, I, you. I've been more so yelling out the window. Oh, you yell at, you at, you're you yelling at Boromir? Yeah, I want the villagers to basically pick him up and drag him in. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, you get some people to go ahead and make your diplomacy. Okay, so that's an initial 12. We'll do... Close me. Uh, that'd be a 13. Uh, 
Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm no, listening. No. Oh, also, I got a 13. 13, 13 in total? Sword. Yeah. All right. Wonderful. Yeah, you get a 13 on your diplomacy. And, um... <clears throat> You call out, grab Boromir, I guess. Uh, no one seems to listen because they seem already preoccupied by the fight. So, yeah, oh, nothing God. really happens. Gosh dang it. There is a war going on. They don't have time for drunk uh, dwarves that are probably not in the mood to blow anything with... else up. I was going to use them as a hand missile. God, just throwing fucking Boromir like a bowling ball. That'd be funny. <laughs> Right, he would well, never forgive you if he remembers that. We're just blaming on someone. God, yeah, blame it on the crossbow boy. <laughs> All right, let's head up that uh, left side of the hallway then. I of don't course, of course, everyone. you wrap around and you find an alternate route ru upward. There's another staircase that goes up. Well, may I just interject one moment, please? Of course, Check it's actually your turn. Me. Oh, okay. Very important thing. Uh, Emma had to dip out because she almost fainted. She's not feeling the best. Oh, okay. So, uh, uh -oh. We can have her look after the That's queen. not true! I'm sorry! I didn't know what you meant. I'm sorry! I said pass out. I didn't actually mean pass out. I meant more just, like, fall asleep. I'm just... Yeah. Very tired since I haven't slept at all, and I know you guys like these sessions to go long, but like, I don't really know how I can just kind of dip out. Tell you what, you can stay uh, with the queen if you'd like. You, it's back to your guys' turn. If you'd like to tend to this lady that you think is the queen, then that would work out. She definitely looks like she could use the help. Okay, I mean, that doesn't really fit with my character very much, but I'll do it. Um, is there something else you'd rather do instead? You kind of are just getting up in the middle of, like, the climax here. Yeah, um... Hmm. What else would you do? So I guess... Grass I guess, well, instead of tending to her, I mean, maybe I'll tend to her a little bit, I'll, like, you know, Zelina, I'll stay here and watch this lady make sure she doesn't do anything stupid. Alright, sure, yeah, that'll work. Um, okay. That, that sounds fine with me. Should I should I leave the cage? Yeah, I need to find Nero. What am I doing? Ah! I squeeze out of the cage. All right, of now course. I'll probably also ask her some questions or something while she's here, like you know, interrogate her basically. But yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. Instead of like trying to tend to her wounds and whatever, instead of playing doctor, you're actually taking a more stern approach, like trying to get answers of what the fuck's going on. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be too harsh. I'm gonna right, right, honestly, of course. Make sure she's okay but yeah not be like oh hugs here you are yeah yeah no you're you're here getting intel all right you gotta get some Thank rest you sorry for about that helping me with my first time in D, D. it was fun i'll be back and all I right order, um so will you be free on sunday on. most likely all right we'll do this again sunday okay i also i did one clip by the way wonderful all right all right bye, -bye. yep see ya bye. All right. Bye. That kind of sucks, but it's all right. It's all right. It happens. It gets Aww. the best of us. Um, since oh, we are now taking a break, time. real quick, I will go ahead and read off chat, and then we'll go back to Sarah. Ooh, I'll uh, be right back. I need a bathroom. Yeah, you, do you think? Do you think? Canola, if you need to use the bathroom, now's a great time. Uh, no, I'm good. All right. Wow, uh, thank you, Emma, Crazy, and Cannoli for watching the stream, as well as another TTV viewer, Atten, and Commander Root. Thank you all for hopping on. Commander Root. Commander Root's a fucking boy. I need to step up my game, though, man. I'm boring right now. I just don't know what to do. Your friends are cooler than you. What the fuck? I'm sorry. You should be sorry to yourself. Okay. But nah, I generally feel bad. <laughs> no, don't feel bad. You're having fun. Right? I don't, oh yeah, definitely. It's just I I just need to be more entertaining. Hey, hey don't don't worry about the entertainment, alright? You can't be fucking giggles and laughs all the time. 
Every now and then you gotta dip out of the party to take a shit, right? Well, you're shitting right now. It's, I think it's about time you wipe, but I mean, if you gotta keep going, keep going, you know? <laughs> when in doubt, shit it out. No. Bitch. Alright, uh... Cannoli, you are amusing. Crazy. Crazy said that. Crazy, you... Ow! Like dropping the boy in the thorn bush. Yeah, that was funny. Yay! Okay. Abuse! <laughs> I didn't know what else to add. Anyway. So All right. Sarah, welcome back. Now, you're yeah. in the dungeon and Emma is getting answers. Or, uh, Scylla is... All right, I make my my way out of the dungeon to try to find an exit. My focus is to go on Nero because we saw that guy pass by and it freaked Nero out. So I want to make sure that if anything bad were to happen, that I'm in the area and could do something about it. All right. Well, you can only assume that Nero and him are outside of the castle, whereas mm -hmm. you are inside of the castle due to that explosion. Right. Do not take that out of context. Yay, abuse. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that I, I only ha I only have no context. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, um, yeah. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try to leave the castle. The of castle. course, you go out the way you remember through the double set of you know dungeon doors, and then you remember there's two hallways here. And uh, in the center, where before it splits off to more dungeons, you see a staircase that spirals upward. The spiral staircase would lead directly up to the throne room, and you hear a loud scuffle above here. Oh, that that could be Grancio, probably. I'm I'm gonna. Is there like a back door? <laughs> to, um, the, to the castle. I know it sounds weird, but is there a back no, door? No, it doesn't sound weird at all. Um, as far as you know, no, there isn't. There's only one way out of the dungeon, unless you can go deeper in it, and that's up. Either you can explore the other half of the dungeon, or you can go up. Uh... Oh, let's explore the other half of the dungeon, I'm curious. Alright, yeah, you go down the other half of the dungeon, um... There are less lights in here, and it actually reeks of foul disease and death. The air here is actually kind of a thick, misty green, and you hear groaning here, like people who are hurt. I cautiously make my way over, because remember, I have a fear of zomb flower zombies. Um, no flowers here, but you do see the people groaning as you approach their cells. They kind of press themselves against the bars, slamming into it, and starting to reach out at you while still groaning. Hi! Do you, do you, do you need food? Uh, you... Uh, uh, is that a yes, or is uh, that a no? Uh, uh, is, is this a language... That you're speaking? Do you, do you speak? Ah! 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 I'm sorry! I, I back up. Uh, yeah, He's you like, back up. You're speaking in constipation. And uh, you, feel, you feel another hand kind of grasp at your shoulder a bit. Make a reflex. Oh, shoot. You back up into the other bars behind you, which also has a person there. Hold on. Okay. Okay, um, 16. 16, I'll give you a plus 3 on top of that, which you really don't need, but it's the added adrenaline of fear, as this zombie slams into the bar, scaring you and cracking his face open, and yeah, no, people don't crack that easily, these people are undead, as you feel another one grab your shoulder. Upon the realization of this, you're able to roll out of the way and back into the center of the room. And as you can see around, it starts to rain and storm, and every flash of thunder around you, it lights up the room a bit. And you can see there are hundreds of zombies in these cells. 
Hundreds of them. Hundreds? At least in the darker ones. The lit up ones, there's only like groups of five or six. And then you realize they're dark because the zombies are obscuring the torches. <laughs> A lot of these people are the people who have gone missing. My no. kin was almost added to this. <gasps> oh my goodness, there's so many zombies here. They don't have flowers, but they are not less scary. They don't have flowers. Instead, they have blood and mucus coming out of their mouth. This is my old flower. Um, uh, help! Can anyone understand me at this point? Ah! That that does not answer ah! my question. Ah! Ah! Are you in pain? They're bashing into the bars, <laughs> desperately reaching out to you. It's getting too, so loud at this point that you can't even hear yourself. And the bars are beginning to rattle and vibrate. You can feel the rattling and vibrating underneath your feet. It's getting so bad that you're not even sure if these bars can hold them much longer. Whatever you're going to do, you might want to consider doing it fast and then leaving. I use Entangle. All right, and yeah. Back up. Or you back start... up into the doorway where I came from. All right, you, you start petting out of the doorway and you cast Entangle behind you. And you slam the door shut. And you start hearing bars snap and break and, you know, bend out of the way. <laughs> you lock the door behind you. There's a bar you can slam down. Looks like it was added yeah. since you left. And, um, it looks like it might hold them for a bit. I don't know what they do. They either want to eat me or kill me or, or be my friend, but I don't think it's the one. I'm going to go up now. You go up the stairs, and once you get to the first floor, the middle floor, right, where you can see all the action, you can see everything but a crab man fighting at the entrance. If you're trying to leave this castle, you're going to have to weave through a full-on army, like a full battle. Um... Above you in the spiral staircase, you see several other black-armored men pouring down and chasing out the, uh, the people, the militia. They either notice you and don't care, or they completely overlook you entirely and favor the people charging in. Wow. It's a madhouse up in here. <laughs> yeah, there's, 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 there's zombies downstairs. No, there's, there's some people fighting up here. So it's good. Well, I need to um, continue going up. In this big room, there are doors to your left and right behind you, and there's a staircase going up. You said you were going up? Yes. All right. Go. You go up the staircase and you find yourself in the throne room. We will stop there and go back to Cannoli. Cannoli, you're going up the stairs. All right. All right. You uh, go up the stairs and you find yourself in a sort of this. This looks like a more personalized hallway with paintings, ornate paintings. This is like Cast Dracula's castle, right? From, like, uh, Curse of Darkness. How you got these marble floor and these, you know, beautiful, like, velvet walls. And they have these, like, ornate giant oil paintings with, like, golden frames of the queen herself, right? Oh, God. I, I have a fear of what might happen in here. And you're passing through. You're passing through. And, you know, there's various rooms here. And you see... You, you can hear kind of, like, you know light banging on one of the doors to your right. Banging? Like, actual, like, human banging, right? Like, like, banging on the door. Yeah, yeah. Like someone, like, like you owe money to this person. Yeah, okay, um... FBI, shoot. open up! <laughs> so, uh, is it locked? Uh... I'd imagine it's locked from the outside, or does it Would need a key? Would you like to try opening it? Um, fuck that. I'd like to try and take it off its hinge. Alright, yeah, so you're kicking the door down. Yeah, that'll be a strength check. Destri Go ahead, roll it up, and describe what you're doing. Sure thing. That is a 15 base with a... 
Sorry, my laptop is dying. I need to get a new one. Haha, ha, get fucked, nerd. That is 18 in total. 18 and in so, total. I want right. Rancho. I'm like, I'm talking like he gets claw on one side of the door. You know where that, uh, the bolts are? Yeah, yeah, you, put, you put your claw against that hinge and then. And I grab the knot, I uh, the. The, uh, handle. And I pull that motherfucker. Like, I'm, you know. <laughs> like, it owes me my fucking money. <laughs> of course, of course. So, yeah, yeah, you hear this, you hear this, uh, banging on the door. And, you know, you know, you immediately go, you'll get your rent once you fix this damn door! And you rip the door <laughs> off the fucking hinges. <laughs> what you see on the other side is a zombie maid. Oh. <laughs> she's, like, dressed up in this French maid dress where her skin is, like, a deep green. She looks like she's been dead for a while. Half her hair has fallen out, but it looked like it used to be in a very neat bob. One of her so eyes Rancho are yellow and hanging out of her socket. Ew. Obviously freaked out from his. Go uh, uh. Hello. All right. Uh, oppose. Oppose strength. Oh, I can't tell if that's a five or five. Um. How does a nat twenty sound? That sounds like you fucking beat her out. She throws her arms up and goes to grab you around the waist. And uh, you do some fucking ninjutsu move you remember you learned. Where you kind of palm strike her in the chest. And then you, you know, with, with your claw kind of behind you. Strike in this pose. You palm with the human hand. Claw behind you. And then you strike again with the claw. Like jamming it right into her waist. You can clamp her in half if you want to. You know what? No. I promise I'm going to be interesting. I'm going to use her as a weapon now. So if oh! she's dead, I, I want to clamp into her. Kind of like how you would... I don't know how to describe her, but almost to a point where it's like in the bone, but not, a knife to, not enough to split her in half. So she's kind of all attached right. to me at the moment in a way. Yeah, alright, yeah. You kind of clamp onto <laughs> her and hold her by her spine. So you're holding her by her waist, though. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using her as a medieval baseball bat. <laughs> Jesus, fuck, alright. Yeah, alright, uh, what, how much damage would a maid do? <laughs> um. Uh, not physical contact, but is there any, uh, weapon, like, chemical, or not chem, uh, like, disease? Um, as long as you don't lick your crab arm, you'll be fine. It's, you have your chitinous shell protecting you. If you were doing this with your human hand, you should be afraid. <laughs> Alright. But as of so... right now, you're fine. Just, you know, don't let her peel off your shell. <sighs> and I'm gonna say, as far as damage goes, it's gonna be a D8 plus your strength. And if you don't have improvised weapon as a skill... You're going to be rolling out a minus two. Okay. I don't have that. It's a thing that I got on my sheet. I think. I don't even have that on mine. Yeah, I don't have improvised weapons on mine. Well, let me check this one. I had it on one of these character sheets. Hold on. Hold on. You can you still hear me, right? Yes. Yeah, I can hear you. Awesome. All right. Let me check. I believe that's a thing. Um. Uh, not sneeze. Not justice. Would justice have it? No. Yeah, it's pretty much the same one everyone else has. Duco wouldn't have it. Uh, I'm surprised. Uh, the latest my dog from the vet was supposed to be at 5 o'clock. It's 4.20 right now. Huh. Alright. Um, it was disgusting, bro. 
that pretty cringe, bro. I swear to God, that was a roll. Um, I'm gonna keep that out because that tells me what all the knowledges are. The roll, but um, I'm I'm just gonna say, since that's not a skill check that I can find, I'll let it pass for now. No minus two. No, no, no. I I would have put something. Don't worry about it. I'll roll hold a on, minus. Hold two. on. Actually, let me check the book. Let me check the book. How much damage would a maid do? I'm sure they got something like that on here. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard such a statement. Uh. Okay, so, um. No, there is no improvised weapon check. I guess I made that up. Fuck, I swear to god that was real. No, there is there is such thing as improvised weapons. I Right, no, improvised weapons exist. I know that. I've been alive, but I could have sworn that was like a skill check that you had to have on here. And I totally understand if you didn't listening? because you're using a weird character sheet. Every third edition character sheet I find is always different every time. But, like... What the fuck? Yeah, I was gonna say, Chris, that might, that might be 5 e where I got introduced as a skill check. Nah! No, I don't think it was 5e. I swear. Tell you what, I got, I got someone I know that knows this game way better than I do, so... I'll probably talk to him about that. Maybe it was under a different name. No. <laughs> you know what? We'll just cut her in half. We'll make it easy on you. Nah. Nah, you want to do a cool thing, and I'm going to make sure you do that fucking cool thing. Tell you what! Use magic device. Zombies aren't natural. Okay. I mean, yeah. It, it would technically be an improvised magical weapon. Did you check Bro. the feats already? I'll check them later. I don't think it's a feat. Yeah, use magical device, and I'll already message my other DM. Okay. Sorry, Jack. Sorry, I didn't know it would. No, no, it's that. fine. This is this is me having brain lumbago. It's all good. <laughs> lumbago. Lumbago. Uh, where's the boy at? The boy. The boy. Am I gonna have uh, Kratos come in? Boy. Boy. Put that maid down. Okay, whatever. I'll figure that out later. Um, but, uh... That, that might just be from the Berestein universe, since we're in the Berestein universe. That's oh. a funny joke. Anyways, I'm gonna if put I my headset back on. I forget what it's called. The Mandela, Mandela effect. effect. Yeah, I've been mandela <laughs> Dang. But I'm not the same Jack you guys were friends with. Ooh, crises! Sarah, you, know what you, gotta do? you gotta beat him up. Yeah, you gotta kill me. You gotta kill me and steal my liver. It's the only way to summon me back. No. Alright. Well, then my doppelganger will come over and steal your skin and replace you with an exact look alike. No, and then we'll I move to New Jersey. Why New Jersey? <laughs> because they're the easiest to control. Fair enough. You know what? I'll give you that. All right. Anyways, all jokes aside, Sarah, you are what? No, Canoli, you are manhandling a, uh, a zombie. This is your new weapon. Yay! And 
You also find another staircase immediately going up, up to your right, and the hallway goes deeper forward. Ooh. Um, I want to make a spot check, though. I want to check around the room around us. I want to see if there's any valuables. Oh, in the room the maid came out of? Yeah. Uh, go ahead and make a spot check. Actually, uh, Jack, do you mind if I change my mind? Go for it. Yeah, you haven't rolled yet. Well, sure. I actually, instead of making a spot check, I want to take the door that I ripped off and place it on my back. Uh, almost as a shield against arrows, if possible. How are you going to keep it there? You're going to hold it on your oh, back? Oh, you're right. You, you can yeah. hold it in your other hand. You can hold that in your human hand. Are you ambidextrous? No, that's the problem. I wouldn't are be you, able to. Are you, all right. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Uh, I would probably say that the claw hand would have the dominancy. Fair enough. So, and that, I'm assuming yeah. that's on your left side. I've always treated it that yeah. way. All uh, right, then. Yeah, that works. Doesn't bother me. Am I wrong? Uh, I always imagined it right because most people are right-handed. Of course, so... of course. Yeah, yeah, it's on your right side then. You got the maid. You are a grappler, so, of course. You you pick her up. Um. Uh, and um, that you can grab the door by the knob and hold it in your left hand, but uh, it probably won't protect you as well as you want it to. Damn. All right. You know it'll what? work though. It'll work for now. Um, if it gets too encumbersome, you could always throw it. All right. You know what? I think I have a special plan for it. If I know any military tactics, so we'll keep it for now. We'll pick it up. And we'll keep it as a shield. We'll, we'll equip it as a shield for right now. Of course. And so after that, I'd like to go down that hall further. Of course. Uh, you're going deeper down the hallway. And you can... You peek around the corner and you can see a bunch of uh, bunch of people in black armor, like, you know, getting armored up in their armory. The door is open, but it looks like the hall ends at the armory. This must be where the big box is for, like, the back of the castle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say, can that zombie still crawl? Yeah, it's still trying to claw at you. We're going to let it loose in the armory. And I'm going to block the door with the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just fucking... Oh... Uh... First things first, she's going to make a fortitude check to see if she can still walk. That's a nat 20. All right. You didn't even rip the skin on her stomach. You throw her in here and you slam the door in the way. Go ahead and make your opposed strength. Um, and you start uh, hearing, well, oh my god, oh my god, oh! Um... I wanted to actually block that door with the uh, the, with the door I'm yeah. picking up. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> so you're slamming your left shoulder in with the door. This door is luckily a little bit bigger than the doorway itself. <coughs> so, yeah. You throw her in here, slam the door against the frame. And, uh, go ahead and roll your strength check to keep the door there. What is that? tilted do i really that's ah, a good number but it's tilted the tilted dies so uh re-roll it my word. if it's crooked re-roll it oh my god hold on I damn apologies for so much swearing it's okay i say fuck shit all the time i talk well, about jerking I'm off all the time don't worry about a couple swears uh, so that is a 15 uh, <clears throat> you're all giggly and stuff, so it's hard to keep it in place, especially when people start chucking and slamming into the door, but they can't quite get it open all the way. You being a big, heavy crab monster, you can block the door tight, and yeah, you, you're doing you're doing your job pretty well. As the people begin to stop screaming, all the voices in there slowly calm down, and it just turns into groaning. What? 
Lord. Uh, oh, oh no, oh no, this is oh, Fred Dak it's, it's gonna, it's gonna get real bloody in here. How fast do these zombies move? Uh, fast. you don't know. You didn't really give that one zombie enough of a chance to really shamble around. You smashed that door open. She kind of jumped at you. Ooh, it's okay. She, I would imagine she's like a crimson head. It's Please. it's safe to assume that, given her fast reflexes, these guys aren't your slow fucking Frankenstein's. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're so a little bit heftier than most. I, um, this is how I want to do. This. I want to I want to have the door still closed, and I want to have the door that I just used propped against it, so it adds a little extra weight. But not enough to basically barricade it. Just you're not barricading the door. You're just it. making it harder for them to push by themselves. Yeah, yeah. I want them to, and I want to go back now to my units. Of course, of course. <laughs> so I, want to, I want to, if I may, uh, start treading back. All right, you're not going to go up the staircase to your left. Now you're freaking tempting me, Jack. How dare you! Just thought I'd remind you it's there. Of course, I heard that smile. You have intentions. Okay, I'll give, uh, give me one sec. Sorry. Only the best. Shit, 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 shit. Sarah. What do you think? Let me... Me, what? I asked, what do you think? Should I go left or should I go back to my unit? Go up or uh... down? You know what? Jack... I don't trust zombies on their own, and especially with my infantry being at the front and being prime bait. I'm gonna go back to my unit. Of I course. I need to warn them that something's about to happen. Go for it. All right. So Grancio, barring the door slightly just to give enough time, begins to run back to his unit. Of course. Graccio, you sprint back to your people, and you're like, yeah, as funny as that was, they need to know. <laughs> they deserve a chance. Just imagine the maid going in. Hello! Ooh, ooh, what's this? <laughs> oh, no. Did Cannoli just make a room of zombies? Yeah, it's not as impressive as Zelina's room of zombies, but whatever. I guess you can't win them all. Oh my gosh, they spread so fast. That's what I was kind of hoping for, Sarah, because... Basically, uh, I, I want you guys to know I'm going for World War Z zombies. Okay, so they're very <laughs> adaptable. Uh, they're very adaptable, they're very fast, they're very scary. Yeah, I'm playing Ooh, World War Z, uh, but I'm free. No, it's a movie. We'll have to watch that. That's a movie I love. I love that movie. We can do a, we can do a movie stream night. I don't mind doing that. No, I, I don't know if we're allowed to watch that on Twitch, given copyrights and stuff. Not, I don't know how Twitch. movies work. Uh, we would do it through Discord. Oh, There's yeah, just like a private it. thing? That'd be cool. I don't yeah. know how to do that, but I'm sure I can figure it out. Oh, uh, whatever. Ow. Anyways, it's Sarah's turn. Sarah, you find yourself standing in this throne room. And you see the fake queen standing there. And, yeah, she already looks sick of you. As all these men in black armor with white eyes sprawling across them are standing in here. These are like four dudes, but each one armed with a spear. <clears throat> and she's just stand sitting in this throne with her legs crossed. Just kind of watching you under her nose. She waves her hand above herself, kind of like making this swirling motion, and the guards kind of line up along the wall. Well, not along the wall, but along in making a wall. They make a four-person yeah. wall in front of her, separating her from you, and they lower their spears. Interesting. He hasn't made it to this part yet. Who, darling? <laughs> oh, I think you know who. Anyway, um, you got some zombies downstairs. Is that a plan of yours, or is that a, a mistake? Ah, uh, you've seen them, haven't you? Yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of scary. I didn't know if they wanted to eat me or be my friend, but I don't think they want to be my friend. Oh, they love little tieflings like you. 
you would make a wonderful friend to them. But I think they would make terrible friends for you. It's a shame you don't have much of a say in it now. So, are we going to have to walk you back down there? Or can you go down yourself? And the guards begin to approach you. I'll tell you what. I'm going to head back down, but not to the dungeon. And I just <laughs> book it. I book and the it guards down. chase <laughs> after you. <laughs> like, I book it back to where the fighting is. is. <laughs> she also follows after. <laughs> you you seen at her side, she had this sword or club, something. It's weird. <laughs> It looked like a giant rose with thorns going all along it. Oh, no. But oh, the handle goodness. was right underneath the flower. So this would be a rather strange thing to hold. It didn't look like a sword's edge. Rather than it looked like a rod with thorns in it. I could just imagine little <laughs> Zelina. Like, she's like, she doesn't know who she is now because so much has happened. And she's just like... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go. Of <laughs> course. <Rode> queen. <laughs> you run back downstairs, and you go, where are you going? <laughs> not the dungeon, right? Not the dungeon. I am not going to the dungeon. Uh, uh, okay, if I'm downstairs, am I in the main hall where everybody's fighting? You are next to that. You can see it. It's an eye shot. Uh, you, you are in is this bigger room. It looked like some sort of like mess hall or kitchen area. A grand hall with a table there, and uh, next to it, at this intersection, where you can see the exit, two hallways, and then the army fighting. Looks like they're just about to win as more soldiers start pouring in from the other side. What was Cannoli's right and is now your left. Cannoli's right being from the entrance of the door. Yeah. Alright, so, um, you are looking at this now. And uh, the people look like they might be getting overwhelmed. It's hard to tell. You've never fought before. But uh, you did have more people walking in here, so you're sure it'll be fine. So, uh, basically where the people are fighting, that's the only exit way to what I know of? Yeah, you'd have to squeeze past there somehow, and you might get hurt. This is going to be fun. Do I have time to cast Shillelagh? Shillelagh, Shillelagh? Of course, you're not in initiative yet. You can uh, you can prepare a spell. I'm doing if you prepare it, if you prepare it, you can cast it as like a free action on your turn, or you can cast it right before combat happens, unless you want to cast it now. Uh, I'm I'm just being cautious. I do wanna. I'm... I definitely don't want to go to the dungeon. And I don't want the queen to get me. But I also don't want to lead the others to the fight. So would you please explain one more time? I'm sorry, I have bad All right. mapping. What you got going on right now is underneath you, in half of the dungeon, at least hundreds of zombies. Could be more. Above you, you got knights and black armor. Four of them. They look like really serious dudes. Chasing you, all with spears, with the lady herself following afterwards. You yourself are in this room, surrounded in all directions. Zombies under you, knights above you, and a army to your right that seems occupied at itself. If you're opting to run away, passing through the army may be your best option, but you also might get trampled. You could also try to hide in the sewers... Where, you know, the way you came from. But there is no way out from that direction. Given the explosion blocking the rest of that path. Uh, can I do a spots check to see if there's any windows? Any windows? Uh, go for it. My path. Oh, okay, not a natural, but it's a 20. 20 total. Let me look at the map real quick. Oh, boy. 
also just gotta make an order to Red Robin. So sorry, guys. You take your time. For a second. Um, you know what? Yeah, it's kind of high up. Ten feet above where you're standing, to your left from the spiral staircase, you do see it. There is a there is a set of windows, big, beautiful, ornate windows, like church windows with stained glass, right there. If you could find a way to climb up the brick wall, you could probably jump out through there. That's really high, though, so you don't know. You don't know if uh, you can get where you want to be that way. So essentially, if I were to go out the windows, I'd still be surrounded by a brick wall. Yes. But that's outside. <laughs> that's outside. And of course, it would probably be a, like a ten foot drop from where I'm at. At least ten feet. You do need to decide soon because the guards are getting closer. Screw it. Entangle on the stairs. All right. Yeah, you grab the staircase by like the rod that it spirals around. Cast entangle. Uh, go ahead and. Are you focusing it on the stairs so that people trip? Yes, I'm focusing right. it to old trip. Go for it. Um, and go ahead and roll a concentration. Oh, that's a nat 20, baby. All right, yeah, yes. All right, you, you, from your palm, you can see vines start shooting out and ra spinning around this uh, staircase, going up and down, wrapping around every single stair, going all the way up to the top and bottom. You see the guards start walking down, and their feet get caught up, and they start rolling down the stairs as well. Two of which roll all the way down to the bottom of the stairs, whereas one just stops, and then the other falls down and lands next to you. <sighs> the lady doesn't seem stumbled, though. Of course she wouldn't seem stumbled. <laughs> of course. <laughs> So I still have my staff in hand. I still have it shillelied. I just wanted to throw off the guards for a second. Oh no, this is not gonna end up well. Um, I thought you were about to I thought you were about to go and say, I wanna beat this bitch. Canoli, you get to the army and you can see Zelina struggling right now. There's two guards that have fell down the stairs. One stuck on the top, and then there's one laying down. At first, it looks like she has the situation handled, but she looks like she might be panicking. You also see the queen there, standing at the top. You don't know if she's a fake or not yet. Mm. Either way, from what you've seen, she deserves to die. <laughs> oh, dang. All right. With how she's been treating this town, you were sent here to get this town to be friendly with you. You've seen how impoverished it is. The lack of guards, the lack of care, the lack of love everywhere you've seen. On top of how she just lets zombies roam her halls. Yeah, everyone here deserves to die, except for the people you led here and maybe Zelina. Um, <laughs> like I said, maybe. Just, just maybe, just maybe. Yeah. So, ha has the guard that's the guards that have fallen? Have they dropped their weapons? Um, you don't know. You can't see them. But the one next to Zelina is still gripping onto his spear as he gets up on a knee. Uh, am I able to do a surprise grapple? He's not looking at you. Yeah, go for it. All right. You come up behind him. And you grab him. I'm gonna give you a plus four because you're surprising him. Oh wow! So that means I get a plus eight. Woo! Woo! All right. See so what we get here. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely more than enough. So with my plus eight alone, that is let's see, that's a twenty-five. Damn! I mean, I'll try <laughs> to I'll try to beat that. That's a two. All right, you got me. <laughs> On oh, maybe the pure innocent tiefling that tries not to kill people. 
What? Explain that, crazy. I think that's just random information to me. Cannoli's saying that everyone needs to die, but Selena doesn't want to kill oh, them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get it. Sorry, I'm st I got gravel in my brain. Anyways, yeah, that is funny. Uh, so, yeah, you got this, dude. You walk over and do your bullshit. Alright, uh, and so I've got him in the... So does that mean I can pick him up and toss him and commit yeet? Uh, <laughs> holy shit. The queen. Okay, okay, you're asking for a lot right now. Yes, you can pick him up. Are you throwing him? Um, you know what? You know how staircasing usually has those bars in between it? Yeah. Like, uh, so if you, uh, I want to, uh, smash him into it. Of course. Ooh. You pick him up by, like, his neck or whatever, his collar. How are you grabbing him? Uh, I would say, so, you know, your upper chest. Yeah, he's like, on his knee right arm. now with his back to you. Yeah, so I clamp it around the chest plate area. So Okay, right like the collar of his like, chest yeah. piece or like the, the shoulders? Uh, the shoulder. So it'd be from the side, not from the top of it. So imagine grabbing someone from, like, where your rib would be, kind of. Oh, okay, no. yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, I get you, by the shoulders, like, where the sleeves yeah, okay, are. Yeah. yeah. I get you, you grab him by that with one hand, and you pick him up, and you slam him into the railing, and you dent the railing in. Go ahead and roll your attack. <laughs> Is that a attack chance or attack damage? That's chance. You need, I need to see if you get okay. through his armor. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, that is a... Let me check with my attack bonus. Just make sure. Let's go here. Is a 15 enough? 15? Yeah, it's enough. Uh, you pick him up and you slam him into this fucking railing. And you feel the chest plate actually crush beneath your uh, crab claw. I'm assuming that's how you grabbed him, right? Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be by the other hand. That'd be a little awkward. It'd be, like, really fleshy. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you grab him by your crab claw, clamping him by both shoulder pieces, and you slam him into this, and you feel the chest piece start to buckle in on itself towards his chest. Ooh. You see, you hear him kind uh... of wheeze a bit as he gets kind of pinned in this fucking railing. Zelina, you see Crab Man come out of fucking nowhere, and he starts assisting you. Good. Holy cow, hi! Great to see you it's here. Me. I waved to her with my other, my, like, with my free flush of hand. Hello! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you see the lady, you see the lady jump <laughs> off the railing and lands behind both of you, with her back to you as well. She turns around, she smiles. Well, now we're just missing one more. The bard. Oh. oh, fuck. I didn't think of that. Oh, no. We fell into our plan. Hey, what was that? What, what was that, Crunchio? I asked him. I, I, I look over to her as I'm just this man. Is in the, no, I would imagine, he's, is he stuck in the railing? or is he just Yeah, he's stuck stage? trying to work his way out. <laughs> Sarah, you so feel vibration like... underneath your feet as you hear a wooden door shatter and two people screaming. Oh. What? Oh, no. 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 <laughs> Wait a minute. Mm. I look over to Sarah, I'm like... Or to Zelina, I'm like... <clears throat> there was more of them, wasn't there? You had the zombies too, huh? Funny in story. You hear the made... you hear this queen begin to cackle and laugh. Oh, yes. I have to say, you are all rather. Uh, I guess in your language, you would say fucked, wouldn't you? Watch your lift his little finger. I wouldn't say in that. I don't have a body mount. <laughs> Aren't you so precious? Oh, well. You won't last much longer anyways. Interesting. You know what? I spit at her. <laughs> Alright. 
You know what? Roll a dex check. <laughs> <laughs> or roll a ranged the attack. The ranged attack, so. <laughs> oh, I feel a bit bored. What? <laughs> Do I add my dex or the uh, range attack modifier? Range attack modifier. Um, if it doesn't already add your dex, go ahead and toss that on there too. Oh, uh, well, they're the same. So if we did dex and uh, range attack modifier, that'd be a 13. <laughs> Alright. 13, you sh fucking spit at her like a llama. It just lands at her feet. <laughs> And, um, she just crosses her arms. You know what? I'm willing to bargain. Give me the bard, and I'll let you both go, unharmed, for now. <laughs> I just, I just look, I just look, I just, I can't speak. I just look at Bronchi, I just like, um, man, she, she really is nasty, isn't she? I just laugh at her and I'm like <laughs> What's so oh, funny? What? Hold on, so I go <laughs> oh, go fuck yourself, lady. She she gets a fire. devilish smirk on her face and she speaks up. I was hoping oh. you would say that. As she raises her arm up. Like, uh, her, her forearm and bicep, she raises up with her hand limply in it, and she, she quickly snaps her hand up into a palm and clenches it as a fist. As you can hear the man that was stuck in the railing get released from his armor, and he's going to, uh, all right, uh, highs or lows? Um, let's do highs. Sarah, do you want to do highs or lows? Uh, I don't know what to pick. Should you do one and I do the other just in case something bad were to happen? That so is preferable. Both so both of us aren't messed up? Uh, Alright, I'll do highs, you do lows. I'll do lows. Alrighty. 66 high. Cannoli, you feel something climb up onto your back. Go ahead and make an opposed strength at minus three since it's on your back. Oh, Zelina, you see the zombie man climb up. This was the dude who was on the railing. Oh, shoot! I killed him! Oh, that's a 13. Did I that's kill him 13? my mind? Yeah. Oh, you lucky son of a bitch. Roll off. Are you serious? Alright. You better get this one. Uh, I don't think it's going to be too good, Chief. That's an 8. I got a nat one. You're fine. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I was... I wasn't gonna say anything, but if you roll a nat one, I'm gonna... I was like, I don't know how you fucking did it, but roll off. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was a nat one. Yeah, you you feel this dude. He starts digging in. You feel... You can feel his breath as he's about to bite on you as you grab him by the head. And you gotta pull him off your shoulder, but you accidentally rip his skull off, which his body falls off behind you limply as you're holding this undead zombie head upside down. I just go, oh, neat. Hey, Selena, I got a puppet. What is up with you and zombies? Why you are you down all zombies? You, you see uh, the lady pull out her sword, this weird thorny like sword thing and when she snaps it in her wrist the whole thing breaks apart into a chain with spikes all along it this flower chain and she swings it right at you cannoli i want you guys to roll initiative oh shit's getting real i got an eight i don't know what's add for initiative <laughs> sarah i got a seven <laughs> Give me just a second. The odds. <laughs> All right, I was wrong about that improvised weapon thing. Oh, is it not a thing? Yeah, no, that that was something I made up at some point. Like I said, Bearstein oh. Universe. I could have swore there was a... One second, yeah? What do you need? 
uh, should be ready in about 20 minutes, but I have to call the food in now, so I need to know. All right, I'll, I'll, all right. Sorry. No, sure. I need to know right away. Okay. What you want to eat. All righty. Thank you. You heard that. I did. The final boss. <clears throat> no, he's sad. Yes. <laughs> Affiliate, or, uh, Fucking cannoli, his dad was the queen all along. <laughs> oh no! Damn, you're looking kind of thick, though. <laughs> Damn, daddy, you got a fat ass. <laughs> all right. Cannoli saying, "Don't clip that," but is my going? It's not like he was begging. Uh, someone to clip me saying, "Damn, Daddy, you had a fat ass." <laughs> it did. It did indeed sound like that, though. All no. right. Uh, Cannoli, what'd you get? An eight. A seven. A seven, and Sarah I got, you got the an eight. eight. <laughs> Sarah, Cannoli. That's a good cannoli, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the merry men will be here soon. As for the lady, of course, the lady. This time you don't have a bard to help you out. As for oh, by the way, add your dex modifiers and your size modifiers if you got them. Yeah, don't forget to add your stuff together. Uh, for your initiative, don't forget to add your dex to it because that's how, you know how fast you are. Oh, great! That's oh, nice. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. You're Mine's fine. a nine. Uh, that would be a ten. Nice. Ten. Alright, Cannoli's gonna go. And then, nope. Yeah, I don't have anything for a ten modifier. That's for, uh, I mean, that's for my AC, though. What the fuck? Did you say add plus? size modifier? No, I said add your dex to your initiative. Oh, yeah, yeah, so that's still a 10. Cannoli. Cannoloo. Genlu. Lugoli! Lugie. Serenoli. Serenade. Lemonade. Let me serenade you. Remember that? That was, that was a fun. That was a fun little nightmare stream. Yeah. All right, all right. So, Ophelia's going first. The zombie went at you, Cannoli, so she's gonna strike at Selena. You see her spin this like whip above her head as she swings down at you, Zelina. Now, please hmm. tell me, does a does a uh, 15 hit? Uh, for me. Oh. For Zelina. Uh, I'm trying to see. Where would I find this again? I'm so sorry. Your AC. Yeah, your, ar your armor. Basically. Uh, that would yes, be at the 15, top of your paper in the center. A 15 does hit. Alrighty. She swings it down and you feel this whip wrap around your neck, making opposed strength. I don't know about you, but whatever happens, this is going to make some great artwork potential. And what do I use for pose strength as well? Just plus two as well? Just my, your strength my... modifier. Okay. You feel so these thorns ten. dig into your neck. That'll do damage too here in a second. I got ten total. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's a 13, just the roll itself. So... No, you don't quite get it. You you pull back as much as you can, but Ophelia's had good practice in this as she lifts you up and slams you down on the ground behind her. Oh, behind her? Yeah, she picks you up and throws you up and over her head and into the ground. Oh. You, you go from being on your that. feet to landing on your back hard. Oh. So, you, for the thorns, that is three points of damage. And as for the slam, 
that would be, um, I'm going to say six points of damage. Ouch. All right. Hold up. And for uh, her movement, she's going to stand on top of you. Put a boot against your spine. Ow. Wait, and hold, she looks... hold up. Oh, go ahead. So it's essentially six plus three, so nine damage. Nine damage in total. And she has a boot so against a... her spine. Wait, if she has a boot against my spine and I'm on my back. Or you are on your back. Yeah, she has it against your chest then. Sorry. Oh, shoot. I'm at 15. She looks 15 over to you, Cannoli, and she speaks up once more. Don't make me ask again. Bring me the bard, or your friend dies. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me, Jack. Oh. Do, I, do I still have my staff? Yes, you do. And I casted Shillelagh earlier. Yeah, yes you did. I want to freaking attack this bitch. All right, um, it's kind. You're kind of in an inconvenient spot. The staff is about as long as you. You're holding it by your dominant hand, so you can wield it. Although the best way for you to hold it while you're laying on your back would probably be at the very end, like a baseball bat. So you're gonna have a minus four to your attack. Okay, am I able to hit twice or just once since my hand? Um, you only got one hand on it, so I will only allow one attack. Alright, I do a tiny little growl. Um, how, how do I do this again? Alright, I roll to see if it hits. Yes, yeah, so you, you roll to hit first. Attack modifier. That should be next to your weapon. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Roll, and then plus attack. Alright, all together, 13. That's a 13, alright. Uh, no, that doesn't quite hit. You go, and you kind of, you do your best to swing, but you do kind of tap her with the staff, and she grabs it with her open hand and pulls it out of your hand and throws it aside. She pulls, no! she pulls it the chain just a little bit tighter around your neck. Make a fortitude check. Oh my gosh, Sarah, no. And she glares at you. If I have to start counting, I'm gonna be very, very angry. Oh my goodness, I I'm a in a very one. foul mood right now. I rolled a nat oh, one. <laughs> Did you hear Jack? No, I didn't. I rolled a nat one. Oh my god. I'm gonna die good only. Ah. Uh, okay. What do I do? It's okay, I got oh, <laughs> Dungeon Master doesn't know what to do. Fuck. Alright. So starting out, you're gonna take 2d4. And you're gonna start oh. bleeding because this is your neck. If a, dis if a decision doesn't happen now, you're taking five points of damage. If something doesn't happen right now, then um, you might go unconscious. I'm, I'm Wait, trying well, not to, but they're not giving me much options. <laughs> do, do I need to... Do, do I need to make a decision right now? What's my decision? Um, I mean, you... You can do anything your little heart desires. You got spells. Remember, you're a fucking druid. Cast a spell or something. Cannoli, you are... You have her immediate attention. Uh, I've well... I've casted Entangle twice. Uh, do I get four spell slots? Um, yeah, do I'm you? So did you wrote the, Did you write that down? Four spell slots? You got four, <laughs> level one? <laughs> Here, take this time okay. to go ahead and examine your character sheet carefully. Because the next decision you do might... Or, this next decision you do will make or break you. Entangle yeah, okay. is a level 1 spell. You have two of those guaranteed to you. Yeah. 
You I've have one level two that. spell. You have four cantrips that you can use infinitely. <laughs> I just, I just, <laughs> this is just when I'm not doing it, but just right. doing pure minor wound over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Sarah, Sarah, that would stop the bleeding, which would prevent you from immediately going unconscious. But make a make a wisdom check. Let's see where I put my. Oh no! Oh no! Luckily, I have a plus four with wisdom, so whatever I have, I have at least a, ooh, eighteen in total for wisdom. Check. Wisdom check. Yeah, yeah, 18 in total. I'm trying mm -hmm. to think of how I want to say this. I have a plan. But Wait, I it what, Crazy? What are you saying? Oh, yeah, for the, for the, yeah, the Cure Minor Wounds that you add your level to it, just as well as the one hit point. Um, They're level three, so that's only four guaranteed health, but that's a good reminder. Thank you. But for you, 18 on your wisdom check for remembering. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are you doing? You have another spell that you've forgotten about. A spell that you cast twice per day. A spell that you've used once before. A spell that's gotten you out of several sticky situations. And you ask yourself... Why haven't I cast darkness yet? <laughs> I touched the floor with my with my palm and I cast darkness on the the floor of this castle. All right. Um The castle is too big of an object for you to cast darkness at on. Least, at least just the floor. This specific right. Floor. Tell you what, I'll say you're on a carpet, a 20 foot square foot carpet. So okay. you got this giant bubble of black, lightless energy around you as you touch the floor with it. Everything goes black. Can only you see you see Zelina choking and grasping at this chain around her neck, and then she lets out a low breath as she lays her arms across the floor for a brief minute. You think she just gave up. And then you see emit from her palms, from her chest, from her core, from her body, this black orb of dead light emit from her and obscure everything. If you were to do something, this may be your chance. So this woman's looking seeing, at me. No one can see each other at the moment. Yeah, you can't see anything. Well, you can see stuff because you're not in the orb right now. You're looking at it. But you do know at the center of the orb is Zelina. And a, just a little bit above that is um, this lady choking her out. All right. I'm going to pull the ultimate Chad move. You're going to fuck her. Remember that zombie head that I had? Uh, yeah. What zombie about it? Zombie head? We're going to bat swing that thing into that orb. Um... With your claw. Right. Your no, claw no, I, I know I know how he's doing it. Yeah. Um, but like you can't see your target. Oh shoot. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um so a ranged shit. attack might not be a good idea. Hmm. Would the melee attack be any truly any better? <laughs> you got the general idea of where she is. She's choking out Zelina. Maybe it's not a terrible idea. I mean, fuck it. It's worth a shot. All right. She's going to it. die either way if you don't do it. So if you do do it, she might die rather than is dead. All right. Let's strike up a melee attack then. All right. Go ahead. Roll up your attack. Are you going to step into the orb and swing? Um, I, I would say I say swing up before heading in, so have it prepped and ready. All right, yeah. And then you start charging in, and you pre-swing as you enter, trying to catch her with, like, that tip. All right, let's do this. All right. Now, since you are in pitch black darkness, do you have blind fight as a feat? No. 
All right, you're going to be at... Assuming, uh, things like Blood Strike and stuff like, or stuff like that. I'm going to say you're going to be at minus four. I think it's usually minus eight, but in this case, we'll do minus four because I don't know. Come on, come on. That's 20, baby. Come on. Oh, yes. That's 20, motherfucker. What? 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 You got know that 20? I will take a picture of it. No, yeah! I believe you. I fucking trust you, Cannoli. If anyone, I trust you first. Of course. Oh, no. You I'm charge in. And you, you charge in, and you swing your club upward from the floor up in this vertical kind of diagonal strike. And you feel it connect with something hard. And you see... Oh, let's see this. Let's see this noble knight. Yo, yo, it's all nestled in even. Oh, oh that's, that's beautiful. beautiful. That's beautiful. All right. Ah! You swing your club around and you hit something hard. And you feel the club kind of flex with this strike as you force it through all the way. And you feel her fly out of the fucking, all this orb. She was in this orb as a queen, but as she spirals out, she comes out completely different. Before you've seen this elven queen with a golden crown and, like, you know, purple, elegant robes, right? Mm -hmm. As she gets knocked out, you see this woman in black robes, kind of tan skin, like she's from the desert or something, and she has this bandit mask around her eyes, and her hair is tied up in a ponytail. It's red. As she flies out, also wearing this robe with the black or the white eye stitched to it. This is a lot more of a raw design, as if this was the first robe that was made. She flies out, still holding her weapon in hand, but the chain had unraveled for sure. Sarah, you feel your neck break free. You can breathe once more. Uh, Jack, do you want me to roll for damage? I get a yes, time please. A 20 is a crit, right? That counts as a critical? Yeah, if you roll 20 on your dice without adding anything at all, that's a crit. Yeah, this is without anything. All right. Um, so, let's see here. Yes, let's sir. Sorry, I've never rolled a d20 on attack. No, that's, that's amazing. This is what you want. So what you do right now is you add your dam, you roll your damage up and add your strength to it. And then after that, after you get that number, multiply it by four or two, whatever you have. So, all right. Oh, we changed it to a, a times two. I'm sorry. Because it's D6 plus strength crit range times two. Oh, all right. I thought it was times four, but all right. Uh, just even look to make sure. Um, that's what I thought. Oh, no, it is. I'm sorry. It is a times uh, modifier. That was for my claw. I'm sorry. It's a D10 okay. plus four. Sorry about that. You're my fine. Claw. You're fine. It only hurts you. That's my D10. No, where is my D10? Oh, D10, where are you? D10, I need you. That's a Please, I want to kill the bitch. I need to kill the oh, zombie no. enthusiast. Yeah. Oh my goodness, the dungeon master slammed into the permit. What? What? I can't what? hear him. I can't hear you. What He's gone. 14 times 4. 14 times 4. Times... You just rolled max damage. What the fuck? 15 times 4 is... No, 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 no. 13. 13. 13. Oh, 13. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's, uh, that's 52 points of damage. <laughs> Jesus oh my Christ. goodness! All right, it's only coming in clutch when he's needed. All right, I prayed, I prayed for a good D twenty roll. Not answered. Yeah, she Woo! comes out completely different. You smack her head hard as she spins out. You see her jaws kind of slacked and fucked up as it's kind of broken. You see her kind of lay it in straight and pop it back in place as she brings herself up to a knee. And she spits out a lot of blood on the floor. 
Sarah, it is your turn. <laughs> okay. What does a tiefling that's about to die do? Um... I don't know. Heal? No, nah, that'd be too easy. <clears throat> Alright, can I do a wisdom saving throw to remember how the layout looks before I casted the darkness? No. No. Nah, you can't do that. Alright, I'm still on my if, back. Yeah, you are on your back. You're at the center of this orb. I will tell you this. This is a very big room. It's bigger than 20 feet. You are sure? Uh, if you walk and if you walk straight in one direction, you have a 75% chance of not falling downstairs. <laughs> Sarah right. needed a hero, and she got it at the exact right moment. Yes, she did. And she made that moment herself. How did... What? How did I... <laughs> you cast darkness. If can only charge her while she could see him, then, uh, yeah, that would have, like, got you killed, probably. It would have hurt more. Definitely. Oh, my goodness. Casting okay. darkness blinded her long enough for Cannoli to do something. You distracted her, and he helped you. Oh, yeah. You also remember your staff was kicked out of your hand off to the, uh, uh, this would be where your head is, so it's behind you. This would be to the right of the door if you're entering the room. Uh, I go to where my staff was kicked. I remember the direction of, or the location of where it was when it clanged on the ground. Of so course. I go towards that. But I do it, I, I don't scramble, I, I try to do it without making noise. I try to use the darkness so they can't hear me inside roll, the bubble. Roll a move silently. <laughs> Just watch it. A tiefling <laughs> is not going to be silent. Yeah, that that's... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember that. I can, I can imagine that scene in slow motion. It plays in anime as well. Thank you, Crazy. Yeah, okay. Move silently. Oh, man. Cannoli, how does it feel to know that you just took your dick out and you shown her the entire thing? You shown her your entire fucking cock and she did not like it one bit. <laughs> I'm happy. Finally I got a seven. Got like, I, I got a seven, oh. essentially. Not, it's not that good, but I'm in complete darkness. Sarah, you are still dizzy and trying to cast, catch your breath. If your heavy panting wasn't enough to give you away, you're stumbling of you're stumbling around trying to get on your feet, did, as you can barely stand up straight, but you do manage to stumble out and uh lo and behold, you see your staff next to the big lady herself. So am I I'm just like barely out of the darkness. You are, yeah, your back is still in the darkness. You're peeking through it, and you can see your staff there. Right next to the big lady herself. Oh, great. Okay. 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 What do I do? Hold up. Now look at my inventory. You know what? We're, we're going to do something a little bit weird. Okay. I'm not in the mood to rush at her, but I decide to take my spade out from my pocket. Spade like a tiny shovel. Yeah, oh, yeah, you got a military shovel. That's right. I got, I got, and I want to chuck it right at her. Probably. All hurt. right, I'm going to say that's going to do D6 damage. Make your ranged attack. All right, ranged attack. So whatever I have here, plus a three in total. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna say that's part of your movement, pulling the shovel out. Normally yeah. that would be an action, but uh, I want you to know, if you pull the shovel out right now, you cannot move anywhere else. That's fine. Alright, like... pull the shovel out, and now you can throw it. 
All right, so I rolled a 13 plus a 3. That's a 16 in total for the ranged. And, yeah, you hit her. Roll your damage. A d6 plus your dex mod. All right. D6 is just a regular thing. And then plus... Yep. All right. Not a natural 6, but a 6 nonetheless. I got a 5 plus 1 for my dexterity. Not bad. So, Not bad. I just... I just chuck a shovel at her. <laughs> How's it feel? You got a shovel thrown out of your head, you bitch. Yo, are you a fan of Far Cry 5? Because here's some optimism! <laughs> God. Okay, no, I imagine you threw it over your head with both hands and it, like, spun around and hit her broadside. Are you throwing it like a spear? Uh, yes. I'm throwing it like a spear. Go Team 4 Star. You know what? After this, I might bump you guys up to 5 Star. <laughs> that is if we live. Anyway. Yeah, if you yes. survive this, you will be team five star. All right. Uh, if you're Jack throwing this like a me, spear, it gets stuck in her shoulder. What's up, Cannoli? Oh, uh, I do have to go pick up my dog. <sighs> All right. It will only be 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. It won't be too long. Mm. I know. I was hoping it'd be sooner, but I'll be right back. Okay. How about this? Give me two minutes, and I will let you go. Okay. Two minutes. All right. Ophelia stands up. That's her name. And she pulls the shovel out of her shoulder, and she slams it down on the ground. She is angry. She breaks her sword one more time, and you see another You see another group of uh, these people jump through windows, and they speak up. Our lady, mistress. And they kneel before her. What is it? I'm busy. We have apprehended the boy. And you see her rage no. immediately fades to happiness. No. Is that so? No. Then we have no more business of being here, do we? And she takes a couple steps back. We'll leave you with the undead. You can keep your crummy town. I'll be back to clean up. As of now... We've come for what we've come for. Or we've got what we've come here for. So I bid you all adieu. And she does that thing where she crosses her arms and she leans forward as she spreads, like, does that, like, sort of, like, uh, dancer's bow? Mm-hmm. Where she leans forward with her oh. arms back. Yeah. And then she jumps out the window with the group of uh, watchers with her. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. So, I will go ahead and break initiative, and I will let Cannoli go take care of his stuff. Thank you for the few minutes. Uh, go get your baby. No, no problem. Sorry. I know it's, it's baby. strong on you. But yeah, no, no. You would have been Life comes first. I really shouldn't have done what I just did, but I really wanted to do that real quick, because I felt like that would have been a no, great way to fine. break initiative. I want to let you know, she had 150 health, and you took out, like, a third of that. <laughs> and then Sarah stabbed a shovel in her shoulder. She still had like a hundred hit points, but like still. She stabbed a shovel. A a shovel in your shoulder is still a shovel in your shoulder. Yeah. Oh, she no. threw that at the floor. We're gonna go ahead and take a break real quick. Canola, you go take care of your stuff. I'm gonna get me uh -huh. some food. I need some I'm going to go ahead and give thanks to the viewers, and then I will collect diner requirements. I'd like to give thanks to Emma, Crazy, Cannoli, Atten, Commander Root, Discord for Small Streamers. I would also like to give thanks to Sarah and Cannoli and Emma for playing, and um, really anyone else that I didn't name. Thank you for all watching. Yeah, you know what? Me too. Me too. If I can convince them to leave the town, then I will have very special things planned for them. But for now, it's time for me to get good eats. There we go. I'll be right back. I got 
to the next time I have it, then they won't go. Everything's going horrible. Guess Jack's not here. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Maybe I should bring up Twitch.
do. I was gone when I thanked the viewers, but thank you for watching. For choosing to watch. Hi, crazy. At least I can see you now. Luckily, I have my computer muted. I'm trying to speak not as loud so that the echo isn't bad. Hopefully. Yes, you've come to speak. Speak. We shall see if I live. I can already say that as soon as the people brought or jumped in, my character's just like, oh no. <laughs> Most definitely is Nero that they're getting after. I'm, my character's freaking out, I'm freaking out. Ah. <laughs> Brain go oof, but yes. I get ya. Good song. Anyway. So yeah, it's only this mess. I got up. balls in my head and it won't go. Interesting. Penis in my I, head and it won't show. I, I opened up the Twitch so I can talk with Crazy while you're done. Of course. Yeah, I think they're jealous. They're like, yeah, this game's fine, I suppose, but uh, Team Pride's better. Probably. Also, I would like to mention that I think Zelina's the person getting the most pain inflicted onto her. As of right now, yeah. Like, just in general, because before nah, she actually... Nah, Cannoli almost died in that last one. Oh, right, he did, too. But also remember the time before when we had the boss fight. Freaking Axe. I have less mm -hmm. health than... <laughs> we're we're, we're okay. getting our... Let's get... He almost killed both of you. And that was my fault. <laughs> we should well, be called... Well, there was you were able to get out of there. Yes. <laughs> and now we're alone. And most likely Nero's been captured. And Selena's gonna have a heart attack because even though she's dying, she doesn't want anything bad to happen to Nero. Yeah. How do you think Nero feels? He's freaking out, probably. Yeah, this is like the one thing he didn't want to happen. I wish Selena- I would have made Selena a little bit cooler when talking to the, the woman- No, you're cool as fuck! You- you- you're doing your own thing. You might not be a bona fide badass who is a professional killer and, you know, you fuck and suck and kill and chill, you know. But, like, I will tell you that, um, you got your other, you got your own thing going, you know. You're a sweetheart and you care, whereas Cannoli is the more firmer and angrier. You guys are duality, whereas you're the more peaceful one and you bring reason to the party. He is the more chaotic one that brings destruction and chaos. And it's pretty uh, much a coin flip on who gets what. <laughs> right. Also, I'm still trying to wonder about what she said when we were in the throne room. 
I'll go over that later. I mean, I wouldn't mind hearing your thoughts. No, 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 I'm trying to remember what she said. <laughs> I think it was, like, something after the zombies. Lena said something about they wanted to either kill me or wanted to be my friend, but either way, I don't think it was the latter, and Ophelia was just like, oh yeah, you would make a great friend, but I'm like... But then she said something about the zombies, they're not that good. No, she said or that everything. you would make a great friend for them, but they would not make a great friend for you. Implying you wouldn't like them, but they would love you. Ah. Uh, <coughs> Zelina was able to somewhat pick up on that. It was just... I loved it when... <laughs> I loved it when the queen was just like, Okay, um... So are you gonna do this... Are you gonna go downstairs the easy way? Or are you gonna make this difficult? I'm like, I'll compromise. I'll go downstairs, but not to the dungeon. <laughs> and then that I just, just wasn't going to work for her. <laughs> I just love it how she herself had to come down to. She couldn't just send her guards, no. She, she had to come. Yeah, no, she really wanted to fuck you up. She wasn't going to let you get away twice. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right. She probably would have noticed. They have been gone for at least a day. It's <laughs> like okay. these guards are incompetence. Normally, I'd eat my food first. Well, here you go, crazy. <laughs> Dancey dance. Yo, is that a druid? Yeah. Oh, shit. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness, it's a doggy. Dog, doggy. Ow, 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 ow. Dance for me. Alright, I'm gonna eat more food. I'm gonna just keep shoveling my face full of food until I stop. Also, was your intention to make uh, the other character blue to symbolize both of us? What? Like, uh, we got a druid here that would stand for Zelina, but then we got yeah. a blue person. Over that was there. intentional. Woo! That was great. That's great. I should have made Emma a ranger. So that she could have the fucking nature aesthetic. Because barbarians, druids, and rangers are the three nature classes. Hmm. But given what uh, Emma was telling me about her character, that would not have worked out for her. She went a bit more uh, city-based modern character, so rogue suited her a little bit better. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think about my battle. I should probably think about what I want to do next. Because obviously, Selena's like standing there with like bleeding, probably still. Yeah, from the neck, too. From the neck. Like, you might die. <laughs> Your neck is like severely cut up, so if you don't do something. Crazy, you know guys gonna upload this in like two or three weeks, so, I mean, you could dip out now and get it later. It's no big deal. Uh, would it be considered a minor wound? What's up? Would it be considered a minor wound? Probably not, because it's on the neck. Um, it wouldn't really matter, because any sort of healing will stop bleeding. Um, mm -hmm. and this spell is supposed to stabilize you. 
Mm. Okay. Man, if only someone had a health potion. Man, if, if only someone didn't get mad at Nero and waited for him to give you a proper hit potion, then a fucking gender swap. But now nah, you decide to get all roid rage on him and smash his bottles. I just smashed the bottle that would reverse the effect of the ginger neutral. He didn't give me a potion to heal. No. He didn't give you... Yeah, you pissed him off. He smashed his uh, restoration potion. And um, he's like, well, now you get nothing. Well, you pissed her off. She didn't like to be made fun of. Yeah, and he doesn't like his shit getting broken. Now look, you're dying and he's kidnapped. (laughs) It's completely your fault. Yeah, it's totally my fault. Mm -hmm. He needed a friend, but he had you instead. Oh, Oh, that hurts. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> God, <laughs> that sounded really mean. Actually, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am just trying to have fun. This is me poking fun right. at you. I-, I know you are. <laughs> there was no right answer. I was like, gonna so tell you many... the moment you let Nero out of your sight, he was kind of fucked. Yeah, I kind of knew that. That's why I wanted to go after him. This, from the from the very beginning, I'm on about Nero crazy. How are we gonna get Zulero if the Zelina's dead and Nero's kidnapped? You got your one revive. What? Oh yeah. Okay. So um. I also have this as a generalized rule. If you die, I will message you directly and ask you if you want to have your character, like, keep them or not. And it'll be at that moment you can decide, yes, I'll only give you this chance once. If you die again after that, they're dead. You have to make a new character. But if you die for the first time, I'll give you a chance to either keep your current character or to make a new one. Or to just leave the session entirely to make it feel like you died. Well, I don't want Zelina to die just yet. Me neither. I really like Zelina. She just wanted to go adventuring and then boom. Hardships out the wall. Maybe she was too young. Maybe you just weren't w- enough uh, aware enough of your spells. Maybe you shouldn't split the party. can say right now is that um, there is a zombie outbreak beginning in this castle right now. And it'll be your job to uh, get all your favorite people out. He was right. Actually, no, he wasn't. Zelina managed to solve the case. She's figuring out what's going on in this town. This makes two towns, though, that have been taken over by zombies. 
Let's see, apocalypse. Slowly, but surely. Definitely surely. I'll be right back. We gotta take these dishes down. Oh, I got a tummy ache. <laughs> All right, crazy. I know that you're not in party, but maybe you can help me find out what to do next. All right, let's see. Also, I think Cannoli might still have a healing potion. He was given three. Use one on himself. Use one on the kid. I don't remember it a third time. Or did he? Go oh, crazy. Did Cannoli use all three of his health potions? Or is there still one left? Alright, we still got a health. We still got a health. Alright. Where is paper? Hold up, I'm gonna get something. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Jack. Come, Mr. In the Brain, and I got a headache. Hey, Jack. That's what they call me. <clears throat> How many health potions did Cannoli get? He had three. I believe he's down two so far. One on him, one on the boy. <clears throat> All right, I just want to make it. He was given three, definitely three. All right, he has uh, Nero, I, I I was a little bit confusing about that. Yeah, uh, Nero did technically use one to demonstrate how they work, but I did give Cannoli three, and Nero had an extra one. So that's four potions being used. Cannoli has three in his inventory, as of that moment. It was a little bit confusing. My apologies. Okay. If they so, followed my exact wording and I didn't correct it just now, he would only have two. And using that one on the boy, then he would only have one. Unless it's zero and he used one on himself as well, I can't remember. Try and think. He definitely used one on the boy. Yeah. He used one on himself to give him a little bit of health. But okay. we could, but you could potentially say that that was the one that was kind of used by Nero. Like it was, it nah. didn't heal him as much. <clears throat> I'm saying Nero had an extra one that he used on himself. He ah. didn't take any from Cannoli. Cannoli had three of his own that were given to him by Nero. Nero had one on his belt. He used that on himself. I'm correcting this now. This is absolutely a retcon because I did a terrible job explaining this. But that was one of Nero's own special brews. Nero is an alchemist. He makes these potions. These are his own design. If I had a nickel for every town that has been overrun by zombies in his game, you'd have two, which isn't a lot, but still a little weird. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like a, it's almost like a, there's a trend. Jack, Jack, it's it's a meme. Hmm? It's a meme. Yeah, I know. Mm. <clears throat> okay. While you were leaving, I was asking if Crazy could potentially help me try to figure out what to do. Um. So that's the first thing I came up with. Tell you what, you know roll a wisdom something. check right now. If you don't roll higher than a 10, then my answer is no. Only you can help yourself. Okay. They only helped me, like, remember what the potion is so far. I got an eight. You got an eight? No more help. You're on your own. No more help. No more outside knowledge for you. Close your computer. Oh, actually, keep it open so I can have the extra view. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll close the Twitch, but I will keep open the, the Discord so that I can get a well, layout. Of I won't get my view. I have worse things to worry about than viewing you, sweetheart. Well, I got worse things than, uh, running D&D. &D. 
but I'm still here for you. You use D and D as an escape, sweetheart. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. It's all good. You do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm not very good with messing around with you. You're really, you're really bad at it. Ah, I'm really bad. You just make me. You make me feel bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm. I'm fucking with you still. I, I, I don't care. I honestly don't care. Tell you what, tell you what, we'll play a little bit of Moon Hunters while we wait on the cannoli man. Uh, what, crazy, what should I do? Keep watch, hunt, stargaze? I already have a shitty character. It's not like I'm doing anything. Team Four Star, the Sun Cult hunts you because you have been chosen by the goddess. How will you defend yourself with power? Can our weapons protect us when the Pale Dancer herself leaves us to our own defenses? The Sun Cult grows. Pray with me. New skin. Cool. Alright. We'll, uh, hunt. <clears throat> Hear a noise, I will locate it. Stargaze, you won't. I'll do it at the next camp. I will heal the creature. You gain compassion, and you save the creature. I disagree entirely. Fuck you. Duh, fuck you. Uh-oh. Alright. How are you enjoying games so far? I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh my goodness. I'm glad. I'm glad you do. Stressing about dying, but other than that, it's fine. No, it's, that's a natural thing. You shouldn't be afraid of a silly little thing like that. I'm also uh, terrified of what they're going to do with Nero. Nero's probably going to die. No. No, 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 no. He's probably gonna die and it's gonna be your fault. Wait a second. If they wanted to capture him, why would they tie him out at the edge of the city? And that wasn't them that did that. Oh Nero said goodness. the guard did that. <clears throat> the guard. Which means there used to be a town guard. But then suddenly they just didn't show up one day. Or, they were there that morning, but in the afternoon they weren't. And something must have happened to them. Man, they moved fast. They did. Playing around with paper because I'm nervous. Uh huh. Coward. Ooh, oh chimes. God. I shall play it. The nasal thrum rises from the pipe, drawing an audience of river snakes from the underbrush to marvel at your skill. Damn. Let me fix my glasses because I'm. Having a stroke attack. Oh, sorry. Uh, can't do shit. I am a pro gamer. Thank you. I'm not ignoring your comment. I will stargaze. I promise. That'll be next camp. Please die. Please, son of a bitch. Please, son of a bitch, alright. Fuck this character. Ooh, another instrument. Bongos! <clears throat> I will dance to their beat. 
You are soon lulled into a trance. The river laughs and whispers the name of Nigama in the time in in time to the beat. You gain bravery and five spirit. I also stole the bongo. Oh, hey, I did the glitch. That's cool. Check this out. Here's a strat. Just stand in the center of the arena and stand completely still. Here, hold on. Let me... Strat. Okay, I guess it doesn't work on him. No, I'm thinking about the zombie towns. What about them? Oh man, I, I'm dead. Okay. Damn, still no cannoli. Still no cannoli. God damn. God damn. God damn. We're going to stargaze again. Yo, can I see my battle, battle plan? plan? Sure, go ahead. Alright. So, battle plan, first of all. I want to heal myself up with a potion, so I'll ask Kanoe if I could have a potion. Whatever health I get is fine. Essentially, the zombies Yo. are trying to overturn the place, so there's going to be and they spread very fast. So... Yo, I got a phoenix friend! Check this out, check this out. Alright, I believe it was, um... New, then full, then crescent. And then... Awesome. I did it. Alright, I just beat the game. Fuck him up, Phoenix friend. I forgive my brother. Will you love this confused child? Sure. So the sun cult becomes good, and they work with the moon cult, and then they make society together. And they now pray to both the sun and the moon. And they loved each other. The sun cult had their advanced technology, and the moon cult had their hearts and their tradition. They were able to flourish with both together. And it brought in a new moon. The old moon's gone, but now there's a new one. A second one. A smaller one. It was adorable. Oh, and I got the shield. That's that's new. Okay. Uh, team 4-star braved a wounded griffin in order to heal its wounds, for which it he repaid with loyalty. Before long, after the sun wars, Team 4-star climbed to his peak home, to his home peak and became a hermit, tossing intruders off a cliff. <laughs> they looked into the face of the pale dancer and dared her, fearless. Some say he was reckless, but everyone agrees he was courageous. And the story of Team Four Star is that a savior. When a sun cult marched on the dust folk, he sacrificed himself in battle, greatly weakening their army and allowing the villagers to escape. 
We named the Southern Shield constellation after him so that we may never forget his bravery. Alright, I'm gonna need a new spokesperson now to represent you guys since I just beat the game. That was an accident. <laughs> Was it an ending that you had gotten before? Um, yes, I've gotten that good ending before, but I've never gotten the shield, so it's a new constellation at least. Awesome. So that's pretty cool. I've also never seen that phoenix as a pet, so that's cool as shit. Yeah. That's, like, really hard to get. We'll do him again. <clears throat> but we'll, we'll, we'll put him... We'll put him in the, uh, he was in the forest before. Uh, we'll put him in the, uh, the fucking desert. Yeah, let's put him in the desert. <clears throat> Yo, what's up? So other than reside in my belly, whatever, what does the flower do? Nothing as of right now. You're gonna head off, you're too sleepy, stressing about other teams' games. Yeah, you should go to sleep, crazy. You enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see you around. It's been a pleasure. Bye, crazy. God, I'm gonna fist fight that spaghetti man. I know, right? Stargaze because crazy said so. Okay, I can get the Blood Witch now. I wonder if I can get the Priestess as well as Hiduana. Doro, I remember him. That was a fun character to play as. And then you, I'm talking to you. 
And then I'm talking to you. I have no answers yet. Is it possible she'll be up the tree? I don't think so. Nah, nah, she wasn't. I am cringe, but I am happy. We'll do Baba Yaga because I have a feeling, I have a feeling that a lady girl might be here. <clears throat> Big feet. That's hot. Sarah, does feet turn you on? What? Do you like feet? I mean, I wouldn't be able to walk without feet. Alright, that's a confession. Everyone, Sarah has a foot fetish. No, it's just intriguing to see why people have that. They're fun to draw, I hear, but... I hear that's just because their feet confu- or their brain confuses feet for boobs. And it just activates their, like, dopamine when they see them. So it's... It's kind of mean to say this, but it's like a... It's like a disability. There's nothing wrong with liking feet, mind you. You know, everyone has their own kinks, and, you know... I make a lot of jokes about kink shaming, but honestly, there's nothing wrong with liking what you like as long as it's legal and can consent. But... Um, I will also say that, in my opinion, there are better things to like than feet. Although, in a during aftercare, a little, a foot massage is never too much to ask for. A foot massage is a wonderful thing to give a girl or a guy after a long day's work, or just generally speaking, like, after, during aftercare, you know? You don't have to suck on their toes or lick their fucking foot palm or whatever, but, like, you know, it's nice to just help them de-stress. I, I know I need a good foot rub every now and then. Cause I got like the worst, most sensitive fucking feet in the world. My family's I notorious for having like really shitty feet, by the way. I have ticklish feet. No, oh, most people do. In fact, that's like the only spot on your body that you can act actually tickle yourself at. You get me? Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, if you just, like, lightly rub the arch of your foot, like, that tickles. That's the only place you can actually tickle yourself at. Baba Yaga. Hmm. 
Man, we're gonna have so many fucking people at our camp. <clears throat> I actually really like this character. There it is. Camp. Yes, please. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a full-on, like, tribe going on here. I'm gonna do a rain dance for that one. We got rid of Mountain Boy, which sucks, but I mean, that's whatever. We got Bushman. Man, if this was a solo playthrough, like, for the first time... Not only would I have unlocked the guitarist, but I also would have unlocked the bonus skin for Red Girl and Purple Girl. Like, this is a very good game for starting out. Too bad this isn't a Moon Hunter stream. I probably should stop playing so no one gets confused. Hey, Sarah, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. More or less. I feel it. I can't, I can't think about what I need to do. Cannoli is almost back. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I said this or not, but I'm going to be leveling you guys up to level 6 after this. If we live, of course. Yeah, if you can find a way to survive. Oh, Cannoli just got home. We should be hearing from him very soon. Pants off, fully erect, buckle down, shut up. It's time to get off. There he is. Sorry about that. It's all right. You yeah, were gone for so like... long that you actually got mauled to death by zombies. Yeah, game's over. So I'm just, we're just vibing now. You're dead. I am about to cry. Wait, am I legitimately dead? No, you're not. I wouldn't kill you while you're away. Oh, <laughs> Nothing's <I'm> happened. <laughs> when Sarah said I'm about to cry, I'm like, wait, what? is she serious? No, that's just in general. That's just in general. That's a bing, 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 bing. We are the MILF destroyers. 
Uh, is the stream still going or is it paused? No, it's so on we're... right now. Alright, cool. Cool. I also got a burger. Burger. Yo, um, Trickster's being a cock. What do you mean? Is he in our chat in the Nickel Peak? Nope, not here. Not here. I don't think he cares about me right now. The only time I've seen him in my chat was during the Hotline Miami stream, and I will admit he's been okay. He wasn't a terrible viewer. I know no one really cares Wait, for him too doing? much, but I don't what's like he how he's now? treating the TBC community, so. Oh, yeah, he's being, so what is he, where is he being about at? He's oh, well, apparently he learned how to play TBC with a band account. What? Yeah, I don't he's know. Playing it on an, he's playing it on an alt account, and he's essentially being like, Hey, uh, developers, I'm playing on an alt account. Uh, you can't get rid of me that easily. Talk with no, me. I need to talk stuff. No, he said it was straight up his, his band account. I don't know. Zelina's about to die. Also, yeah, D and D. So, you guys are are first off. Are you guys ready? Um. Yes. Wonderful. All right. Yes. So yes, I'm gonna break initiative. Uh, the five watchers that just entered the room, they have left with Ophelia. And now all that's left is the army that is fighting each other in the entranceway. Most of them, the survivors of the Watchers, they left too. All that is now is just dead bodies of both sides and the zombies upstairs and downstairs. I'm sure he'll be back. Oh no. Crash, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> So all that's left is the dead bodies surrounding you, the army in the doorway, and the zombies that is now upstairs and downstairs. Also, Cannoli, you have a health potion. I just want to let you know. So if you want to help a certain little dying tiefling... No, I don't. I used my last health potion on that guy that ran outside. You did? Okay, my bad. No, wait. How many potions did you use, Cannoli? I've used my, um, got the growing potion. Daisy, please don't stand on my die. Okay. Growing potion's um, not helpful. Yeah, I know, but I also used two health potions. One in, for myself and one on that kid that fell. Oh, I know, yeah, but you more. have three. You have three in total. Two are. Hold on. Yeah, you yeah, got more. Nero gave you three health potions, and then he essentially had another one that he demonstrated. Yeah, I didn't do a very good job at introducing that. I made it sound like Nero took one from you, one that he gave you. It, I, I shouldn't have said it like that. No, you have three, and he popped one of his own to show you how it works. So yeah, if you want to give your last uh, healing pot away to Sarah, you can. But if you'd like to keep it for yourself in case you need it, that's also fine. No, I'll use it on Sarah. She did good. All right. Is it now bad that I'm more? Is it bad that I'm worrying about what's going to happen in Nero more than I am me? No, that's that's a very wonderful thing. Too bad it's too late. Do you guys want me to put my headset back on, or is this good? Headset, please. Oh, damn it. Alright. I do gotta break this thing in anyhow, so why not? There's also an echo going on. That's good only. Sorry, you can only... If you don't want to do headphones, that's okay, Jack. No, I'm fine. Alright, so, what is happening now? The people are done fighting. Uh, the Watchers are gone. But there are now zombies in the castle. And it's slowly beginning to fill up and spread out. 
You can trust that extra person you came with, that rogue lady. She is a rogue. She'll probably find her way out just fine. Okay. I, I use soul bomb and destroy the rogue. <laughs> no! She is dead. No. Sorry, Emma. <laughs> but, um... Uh, so, okay, so zombies are filling in. Uh, how are the units fighting right now? Oh, uh, they're, they're not falling. fighting. It's it's like they, they haven't started filing in yet, but you can hear them shambling and shuffling around downstairs. They'll be up any second. Shit. We need to get a mass retreat out. We do not want to be fighting in here. You're right. <laughs> they have Nero. <laughs> probably. That, that's probably why. But why go through all this trouble? <sighs> Do this. Ah! <sighs> All right, kid, you're hurt. We need to pick you, patch you up. And I sling Zelina over my shoulder carefully. <laughs> you, you grab her and you <laughs> plomp her on her back, and you know she grabs on best she can. Where do you go now? You rest. We're gonna take care. I'll take care of it. All right, let's run back to the masses. Let's see if we can get to the entrance. And you use the potion on me. I just yes, want to know the what health used on me. Alright, how much health do I get back? 3d4 3D plus 4D your 4D constitution 4D. modifier. 3d4. Okay. All together, just six health. I rolled three ones, <laughs> and then plus three for my... You may want to use your Cure Minor Wounds, too, then. All right. It is a cantrip. All right. Cantrip, and then which die do I roll for that again? Uh, D4 you don't. Again? It's It just happens. You just touch, and it heals one hit point. Plus your level. Okay, so... <laughs> Sorry. Not a problem. So... I was on 15 before, and then plus 6, and then plus 1 plus the level, it's a 4 plus the 6, so 10. So, I'm back to full health now. Alright. Do I have my staff with me, though? Um... You can pick it up. It's not far. Alright, I go to pick up my statue. I gently get off of Cannoli. I feel energized, though, because... You know, minor wounds in the... Yeah. I grab my staff. You juice up, and you grab your stick, and you head towards the entrance. It's not far. It's an eye shot. It's just, now there's a giant clueless army standing there, like, what now, you know? We're yelling, Rich, Rich, Rich. Retreat! They look at each other confused. But we won! Zombies! Retreat! <laughs> Retreat! And they all start turning around and sprinting out, trampling over each other, getting out as fast as possible. The best, the best way, and best and fastest way to say, oh, why are we doing it? Zombies! Oh, shoot! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you're gonna love this too. Uh, Cannoli, at the entrance, you see that that elf guy, that kid that you threw out the window into a rose bush. You see him standing there, like with his crossbow and like thirty more men behind him. <laughs> One of which is definitely his dad. <laughs> Retreat! I, yeah, I go up to him and I grab him by the shoulders, and I'm like, stop it! <laughs> Wait, everybody, bar up, uh, bar up the castle as much as you can or the entrance to the gate. We gotta keep the zombies back. You blew up oh, the yeah. entrance. Oh, great. Everybody oh. leave! <laughs> Start fires, um, get everybody out. Just catch fires to all the houses that are nearby and just ca cause destruction and have everybody panic into one direction. Okay, Sarah, you've resorted to chaos. Cannoli, your thoughts? <laughs> I say. <laughs> That's not thinking well. Remember the garden? Yes, the garden. I say we should try and start a fire there and see if it can burn down the some of the castle. 
The castle's made of stone. Fuck stone. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, it does have a front door. You know what? No, no, if it's not, if it's made of stone. Um, the front gate that leads into, like, the courtyard is blown open, but it has a front door that is opened and is intact. I'm going to offer a solution based on the original idea. I We need to get every crossbowman and bowman that we have, and we're going to try and hold off an, on, an onslaught, and we want everyone that doesn't have ranged weaponry to leave. Try and find something, cobble something together. Hell, Maybe we can try and send someone to get us a trebuchet, a catapult, something with heavy weaponry that can help slay a horde. Um, you don't know where a trebuchet would be stored in a town like this. So you aren't sure if that sort of thing would exist here? In this town in particular? But, um... Yeah, I mean, you can totally send all the pe melee people back to retreat. <clears throat> yeah. I want to send them back to get to try and find ranged weaponry. Hell, if they can just throw their pitchforks and stuff at them and then leave, that would be preferred. You sure you don't want them to just hold a front with their pitchforks and, you know, defend the archers while they pick them from afar? <sighs> Damn it. I mean, You're those right. are they kind of double as spears. All right, I'll set up a, uh, a front line in front of the arch just to protect them. Of course, you set up the five or six uh, porch pitchfork men you have there. And then you got your ten archers, three of which are crossbow men. And you guys kind of watch the gate, and everyone else kind of runs away. Lena's not having a fun day. <laughs> I didn't Zelina? expect to play against zombies today, Jack. <laughs> Nero's referred to them as necromancers before. You know what you're getting I into. I, I didn't think there'd be an entire horde. Just we didn't know the that they horde. had ammo. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't expect I Zelina to piss off all the zombies underground. I didn't think you would make more upstairs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How can I piss off the zombies? I was just asking if they were okay. They're zombies! They're not okay! They're hungry! <laughs> Alright, whatever. Where's the fucking dwarf? <laughs> He's asleep oh. against the wall. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, is there any bomb strapped to him? Um, <laughs> nothing that's built that you can see. You probably have to wake him up to get him to build more. Oh, I thought you were saying that he was bomb and you were gonna chuck him like a live grenade. No, originally the zombies get a fire arrow to hit him where the bombs are and launch him ass cheeks bare into the crowd so that we could get him back. I mean, but that would probably backfire. It would definitely kill him. But he has all the explosive ingredients on his person. If you want to do that, it would work. No, I don't. I, Zelina, Archer, cover me. I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out, man. Congratulations, Zelina. You're second in command. Oh, great. Put the panicked one at the first command. Don't worry, it's only oh. second place. <laughs> Imagine second being place. told what to do by a tiefling. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Uh, I need to get Mr. Drunken Dwarf. Alright, you see Mr. Drunken Dwarf sleeping on the floor. Alright, we're picking this mother and we're we're taking him with us. Well, actually, let's shake him awake. Okay. Uh, roll a... Roll a handle animal. Ooh, I get a bonus in that. <laughs> He's so tiny. <laughs> he was so far away. Alright, hold on. 
No way, I don't get a bonus. I didn't put any bonuses into it? What am I doing? You stupid dummy. I have oh, animal I empathy. Again, someday. And handle animal. I have handle animal. If you want, if you want That's to tell me to do something. <laughs> That's a twelve. You shake him vigorously like a baby, right? He opens his eyes up at you and he vomits all over your chest and falls back asleep. Oh, for oh! <laughs> it's a good thing you're wearing a barrel, <laughs> Zelina. You're thinking yes. of your father right now. If anything happens, maybe it's worth saying some words to him. Okay. I... Okay. Alright, Garantio. I'm gonna go... I gotta... I... Since my family's in town, I gotta go and let them know about what's going on. I need to get everybody out of here as fast, because if those zombies... Those zombies are fast and scary. We gotta get everybody out. You can't just anymore. leave. <laughs> Question: uh, What does my uh, guidance cantrip do? Guidance? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Fuck! I don't know. <laughs> Smoke grass and consume. Oh, hey! I need to take a picture of this because you were asking about the scaling in this. Scaling. Yeah, Cannoli was asking about height and stuff. Okay. Mm. I honestly don't know what to do. All right. I'll send that to you in a minute, Cannoli. Or I'll send it to you now. Fuck it. Just as a reference, you are a large creature because, you know, you're a crab monster. Selena thinks about it for a second. She's she's just standing there thinking. This happened because I was split up. Guidance. Bard, cleric, cleric, sorcerer, sorcerer. Fungus. All right, <laughs> guidance. Okay. Guidance gives you a plus one on pretty much everything. Oh. You cast guidance on either yourself or a friend, they get a plus one on any sort of roll. Um, okay, I just, I, for some reason I thought it was like a a prayer or something to ask for help. Anyway, that's not it for now. <laughs> Alright, um, Grongio, I don't know what to do. I, I, this, this is, so much is going on. And, I didn't pick up my shovel. I can't worry about that now. There's so many zombies. We either have to leave or destroy them all, but I... I I'm afraid I'm gonna get... I can't speak! I don't know what to do. I said, listen. Take any of those the melee fighters. This they're all place gone. has got them now. Oh, they're already all gone. Yeah, you sent them off. Okay. Fix your mic, uh, please. Does this area mic, have a town please. bell at all? Fix your mic, please. Uh, town bell at, town the bell at the church. In all fact, right. there was a bell at the spire. Please fix your mic, please. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear me. Is that better? All right. No, we can hear us. That, that's what the thing is. Okay, never mind. Oh. Nope, I still hear me. Never mind, we're good. Okay, we're good.
Yep, all you had to do was deep throat your phone. Nice work. Oh. Yeah, plus three to pleasure. Um, <laughs> Yuck. Wait, wait, you're thinking about uh, making noise? Making loud noises? I mean, the zombies aren't smart or very conscious or very much anything. They're just hungry and attracted to the noise, at least I assume. I, I have a whistle. That's not going to be able to get all of the horde. Some of them, maybe. So, I need you to go ring that bell. All right. Hopefully I can go this. All right, let's run to the church. All right, you head to the church. Cannoli, are you staying? Yeah, I need to keep... <laughs> I need to at least fight with these archers. Of course, of course. You stay by the archers. We'll do Zelina first. Zelina, you head back to the spire that you have been camping out at. Aw, oh, give me a second. You been you head back to the spire that you were camping out at. And uh you uh you go up the wall like where the ramps are and then you climb up the ledge and you know, you get to the ceiling level. You cross along the plank. I'm not going to make you roll. And uh you get to the top where the uh well, hold on. Let me slow down. Let me slow let me slow down real quick. I'm tired. Before you even cross the plank, you do see a lot of movement in this spire. Where the bell is. You can see oh, no. four or five people here. Oh no. Silhouettes. Oh, it's still no! dark. It's hard to see what they are. But I'm sure I don't need to tell you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that can only was reacting to what I was saying. Oh, great. Okay. Oh. I'm just. I'm just... Dude. <laughs> Dude. I can't help you here. I know you can't help me here. Ah, Wait, so there are zombies here right now. No. The queen and her minions oh, here with Nero. That's what I'm saying! Well, you don't know if Nero's up there or the queen, but you definitely know there are some people here that might be the minions. Do you have anything throwable, Sarah? Uh, I, I have, like, a spyglass, but I don't think that... I have a candle, I have a flask... Paper, a uh, hemp rope, signal whistle, uh, okay, okay. I mean, I don't, I don't, scry, I can I use scry, can I use scry to see what's, who is, who is here, or, and the bell tower. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's just for undead and history. Let me check the scry skill, see if this will help you. Wait, I have a plus two and hide? <sighs> I'm getting a little bit tired, so I might be a bit sloppy. <sighs> you're fine. No, you're fine. Okay. I figure you sounded a bit tired when I got back, so. Oh my These goodness, are I can feats. Look. They will not help you. Alright, scry. Hide, into it, jump, knowledge, listen, perform. Profession, search, scry. Okay. Bards, clerics, druids, sorcerers, and wizards can do this. Spy on someone with a scrying spell or a crystal ball to perform some divinations. You can use this skill without some magical means to scry. 
such as the scrying spell, the greater scrying spell, and the vision spell or crystal ball. You can use these skills to scribe to spy on people. Oh, I was completely wrong about that then. Hmm. I thought that was like talking to ghosts and feeling their energies and their chakras. Oh my god. I think that's the traditional means of it. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Can I use it? I have a plus three in it. Um, it says you need a spell or this crystal ball, but... Oh, what the hell, why not? If you close your eyes, sit down, and meditate for like two minutes, I'll allow it. Alright, I... Uh, first can I do a spot check to find somewhere safe to sit down? So I'm not, like, in the open. Right, uh, go ahead. And would this be considered a hide? Um, not yet. You're making your spot right now. You didn't tell me you were hiding. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, spot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this memorized by the time I get it. Okay, 11. 11 total. Alright. Um, it's dark out. Uh, most of them look human. Some of them look elven. You're on the rooftops, which means you're high up. Some of them are higher, but you do notice some of them are on the courtyard underneath you as well. You know, they're coming in from the sewer access on the side. That must be how they found this place, along with the lieutenant. Which, you can see the lieutenant's body's been drug out. You can also see that there's no real good hiding spot up here. You just kind of have to hope they don't look at you. You already see seven people, though. Four in the spire, three on the ground. There's probably more. Uh, oh, this is gonna suck, but... Oh, well. I, I sit cross-legged on the ground, have my tail wrapped up, or wrapped around me. My little stick. I'm trying to be in a corner, like not in the middle of the room. Like if this is above ground, I'm like against two walls where my back is. Um, make a hide check. Make a hide check, okay. Okay. Awesome, okay. Uh, so in total... 18. Alright. You can't really find a good spot to hide other than against the little ledge that sticks up to, like, your knees. So you lay on the ground, you press yourself against that ledge right at the edge of the building, and you kind of you force yourself in that corner as hard as you can. You can tell by the way the moonlight is, it shines over you, which means you're in the shadows, you are hidden well, and as far as your panicked little heart feels you think you might be hiding pretty well <laughs> maybe you can uh, scry all right i'm i'm going to try a scry you close your eyes and you center your mind Cannoli, we'll go back to you. Oh, come on, okay. I rolled. Yeah, well, tell me what you roll after. Okay. Oh, tell me now, tell me now, and we'll worry about it later. 22 in total. Alright, I will have some you planned okay, up yeah? for you. I'm not okay. <laughs> God, alright, alright. So, for you guys, uh, what time is it? Okay. It is 6.43 my time, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at the stream time. I've been streaming for almost five hours, so 5.30, I'm going to cut it. Okay. Um, so, you guys, hey, you guys, you, uh, could only, you see Zelina run off. She goes to the bell tower, presumably to do what you told her to do. 
Okay. And, all right, um, all right, all right. You are still with the archers. I'm so sorry. I'm tired. Shit. You're still with yeah, the archers yeah. right now. Do you want to stop here? You know what? If you're that tired, we'll stop it here. Go get your sleep. Yeah, you're right. We should. This is a great stopping point. Okay. So I will type in. You roll the 22 for your scry. Let me give you this and then we'll stop. Okay. In your spot right now, you can feel the essence of 10 unholy beings in this spire. Three of which are outside in the courtyard. Two of which are on the bottom floor. Five are in the spire. None of which are the leader. And you don't see Nero anywhere. He feels far away. Oh no. What are these people doing here? Shouldn't have been followed. Wait. What? Follow? Haha, <laughs> got him. Just kidding. <laughs> no, wait, what did you say? I said you shouldn't have been followed. But that was a joke. No. Oh, okay. Big guy found <laughs> you guys regardless. Big guy? Yeah, the boss fight you did the last session. What? He's go- what? He's alive? No, he's dead, but I'm talking about how he found you. These guys could have found you the same way. Oh, I was confused. <laughs> yeah, no, no, sorry. I'm tired, okay. I don't know how to talk. But, um... No, this is a terrible spot to leave off at. I want to get you guys out of the town, at least. Yes, let's get out of town. We gotta get out of town. This is how we get out of town. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna start crying. No, Nero! Yeah. It's my fault! Zelina, this spire is too full. Even if you are a master of stealth, there's no fucking way you can go in here for whatever it is you're trying to do. That bell is not worth it. You're going to get yourself kidnapped. And then Grancio will be on his own. Grancio, these people cannot fight. Sure, they handled their own pretty well, but that was like a uh, numbers game of 5 to 2 ratio here, with you having the 5 to 2, you know. Now all you have are archers that can maybe hit, one of which is a boy with scratched up legs who can barely stand on them. And then they got you. You feel like if you stay here, you might get overwhelmed. The best bet is to leave and hope that the town can handle itself. Oh man, gotta cower out. Damn. All right. I mean, I if you'd like to archers. stay and fight, you absolutely can. Uh, Do you think well, you can handle fighting a thousand zombies by yourself? I pray to God. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, <laughs> Paladin build. Um, you pray to God, and He gives you strength. <laughs> you get a ninety-nine plus stat to everything. God. No, no, but we we need to get out of here. So, what I need to do? I need to rally up my archers. Say, look, we can't do this. As much as it sucks, we have to retreat. Are you sure, lad? I think we can take them. Look at yourselves. Look at yourselves. You can't fight off a thousand of these things, let alone five of them. Diplomacy. (laughs) Since you've seen war, since you've had the taste of combat, I will give you plus four from experience. Well, it's a good thing you did that. uh, that, That's a 15. That was a 15. I don't know if you could hear. In total? In total. 
All right. They seem hesitant at first. But seeing that even the giant crab monster is afraid of what lies below. They themselves start to get afraid of the new apex predator here. And they begin to disperse. Probably heading to their own families. You do see the doors to the front gates of the castle are still intact. If you would like to close these doors and maybe wrap it up in some rope, you can. Um, shoot. Alright, let's close it for him. Alright, yeah. At the very you, least. You shut the doors tight. Do you feel them click in place? Do you tie it up? Do you bar it with anything? Yeah, I'll use up. Uh, well, I mean, did I use all my hemp rope during that instance earlier? How many pitchforks did I say was there? Six? Yeah. I'd say you got about ten feet left. Alright. Uh, we'll use that rest of the ten feet. Then. Alright. And, if you wouldn't mind, this is gonna sound a little stupid, but I'll even use a little bit of my crowbar. And can I bend it so that, it, you know, it holds it a little bit better? Yeah, alright. So basically, there's these, like, loops that are in the wall that you gotta, you know, press the lever down and pull it. So yeah, you can wrap the rope around, tie it up, and you slide your crowbar through and you bend it around. Nice. There are still windows and such that they can jump through. Them being zombies, you're sure they'll get out. But having the front door locked shut and the 10-foot drop to break their legs, you feel confident that, you know, you've slowed them down. I was about to wait in here and say, roll initiative, but, whew, all right. Roll new character. <laughs> roll new character. <laughs> Worse than roll initiative. God, but, um, yeah. What Selena, are you doing what, where are you going and what are you doing now? All right, so I'm not gonna panic. Sarah, the player is not gonna panic here yet. So, sounds like you're panicking already, but go ahead. All right, so there's ten people at least that are all gonna hurt me. Nero is long gone, and I need to go back to where Canoli is. So. I get out of my. S oh no, I was. Oh no. Uh, I get out of my hiding spot, and can I do a spot check? Or I just peek over. For what? Around me. To I'm trying to find if there's like a tree that I can jump into. Oh. Uh, in the nearby area where you're at. Yes. Um. Nothing you can immediately see. <laughs> What if I look down? You look down, and yeah, it's nothing you immediately see. There's no real, like, there's no real shrubbery here. It's just open road. Although, I'll give you this. You do see, like, a cloth awning that hangs over, like, a cart here. They can mm -hmm. jump on and fall through, and it'll break your fall. All right, I do. A, can I do a spot check to see if there's anybody near the awning? Uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, roll it up. Why do I have to suck so badly here? It's okay. I got seven. Yeah, you don't see anyone down there. Yeah, I don't see anyone down there. Of course, I don't see anyone down there. So I'm essentially alone up here. I have nowhere to go, really, without being caught. Am I able to... You know those Olympic Games where you take, like, a pole... And you bolt over. Um, essentially. You're still on the roof, right? Yes. 
Okay. Where are you pole vaulting to? I am trying to pull vault into another another house, essentially. The closest house. Alright. Um, I want you to look Which... at the map. Okay. Uh, I want, where you, are I want we you to at? look at map, and I want you to really think about this. Alright, where, where am I at? pretty big though? jump. Oh, no. Uh, where exactly is the church? Is it the circle one or the square It's circle? the big, it's the left yellow, not the right yellow. Left yellow, okay. I'm assuming you guys came from the castle. You were up along mm -hmm. that skinny road. You went all the way up that and then up those two buildings with the tiny wall. With the tiny wall to the left of the church. Right. West side of the church, I assume you're on that tiny building in the most middle. In the most middle, okay. So I want you to choose where you're pole vaulting very carefully. The tiny square to the direct left of the church. Near the road. What? Um, I'm just making sure. The tiniest building directly left of the church near the road. Like on the other side of the road, or...? Why can't I zoom in on this picture? Okay, um, looking at the church. I'm looking at the I church. Look, I look left. Look near left. the skinny road. It's like in between the skinny road and the church. There's two buildings. Yeah, you're on one of the, you're on the smaller one right now. I'm on the smaller one right now. Yes. That's a road. What I'm trying to do is I. By pole vaulting, I mean like I do a what's called touchdown while I'm still on the roof, projecting me a little bit further than like jumping off the roof, landing on my pole on the ground, and then yeeting myself upwards. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm describing that correctly. Okay, so you're jumping off the roof, and you're trying to land on the pole so you can spring yourself up to another rooftop? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm running on the roof. Okay. And just before I jump off the roof, I use my staff as the pole to push me up so that I have, like, height as well as some projection to go on the roof instead of, like, trying to jump on the ground. And Are you trying to jump over the road? Uh, for this argument, I'm going to say no. I'm not going to jump over the okay. road. I'm trying, I, I'm, I'm going to say that I'm going to try to head to the outside of town. Okay, so you're moving up along those buildings. Right. Alright, you're not saying goodbye to your family or anything? <laughs> At that moment, Sarah's brain's like, oh God. <laughs> I go the I go the opposite direction. All right, so you're going down towards your family. All right. I'm going on towards my family. Tell you what, I'm gonna do a time skip because I'm tired. So you are going to your family. Yes. You find it rather difficult to pass through town. People are beginning to panic and stir, pack up, and try to leave as fast as possible. Right. Um. Mm -hmm. You manage to make it through, and you see your father looking out the window, and he sees you. And he opens the door quick and waves you in. Get in here, quick! Dad, I'm running quickly. He closes the door and locks it shut, and then he shoves a chair underneath the handle. And he looks at you. 
What in Sam hell is going on out there? I take a deep breath so that I don't speak fast. This is a serious moment. Father, there are zombies outside. They're gonna try to kill us all. It you was see this? because... Oh, go ahead. Um, the queen who was... The queen has been overtook, and necromancers took over, and they have at least an army of a hundred zombies ready to kill, ready to storm the town and be set loose. We need to get out of here. You see this look of horror go over his face. And he pulls you close for a hug, holding you into his chest. And he whispers to you. I'm not leaving this house. <laughs> I built this house with your mother's help. If I run away, I'm running away from everything we got. Oh. Where, where are my brothers? Boys! Get down there! You see, uh... You see, uh, your brothers come down, Mike, and then, uh... Aladdin. It was Aladdin, yes. right? Yep. Alright. They come down. They look a little bit nervous. They have their weapons ready. Mike, and he has these, uh... He has this, uh, sword. This scimitar. Whereas, uh, Aladdin, he has a hammer. And, uh... Your father looks over to him. Boys, I'm gonna want you to go north to the highlands. There's a funny little town there called Diploy. Your uncle lives up there, Armadillo. You're gonna stay with him for a while. I don't want you to come back here. What? You're not coming with us? No. Nope. I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna fight for our home. I want to say if I'm gonna come get you. Good. Sweetheart. I want you to go with them. I want you to stay with them. Make sure they're safe. They'll make sure you're safe. Okay. He smiles. And, um, that little boyfriend of yours came by. He gave me something to give you. Huh? He reaches Wait, over what? to a bag and he hands it to you. I grabbed the bag eagerly. I, I check what's in it. <laughs> you open it up and, uh, you see a note with two orange potions inside and almost these potions look almost like lava and they glow no there's three of them oh three okay let me write that down three potions what you're talking about here? some sort of desert desert yeah the only desert on this continent's way too hot for you. He said oh. this will help the trip through. But you're not going out there. You've been in enough danger and I think it's time you stay with the boys. They'll take care of you. I understand, Father. I say with a smile. Can I roll for diplomacy because I'm not going to listen to him? Uh, <laughs> give me a second um, because it's not going to be diplomacy. Or not diplomacy, but bluff. Yeah. Bluff. Funny Unless enough, there's I deception, have... roll for bluff. Yeah, I'm trying to make him think that, okay, I'll do this. Of course. But my thing is, I gotta find, I gotta find that boy. That, that queen is scary. And of course, I would like to go where my brothers are going, but it's just like, um, 
That'll be for later. Hmm. That'll be that would be for later. All right. I, I say to my dad, it's like, okay. I I understand what you're saying. Go ahead, roll it up. <laughs> oh no! What did you get, Sarah? Oh, I'm just counting. Sorry, there's a little bit of a space. Eleven. All right. Uh, now I gotta go ahead and sense motive. Oh no. <laughs> it's not twenties right there. Just like Well wow. <laughs> You're full of shit, Selena. <laughs> <laughs> you see him smirk. Atta girl. I know <gasps> you'll never let me down. Hey, he pulls you over and gives you a kiss on your forehead. I promise that we will meet again. And it will definitely be better than what happened here. Damn right it will. Now get the hell out of here. You got it. Alright. Mike again. Aladdin. But I me. I, I suddenly just take charge. Because. They don't go. They're looking at each other and then their dad. You can't be serious! Aladdin speaks up. You... You can't just stay here and die! What? What is... What does this house mean to you, really? Are you afraid to start over or something? Father look, look glares at him. You better choose your next words real carefully. You don't want to say something you might regret, boy. <laughs> I think I think I'm regretting doing all your bitch work. That's what I think I regret. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. You think I'm just gonna walk away from all this? I've been trying my best to prove myself to you. But you keep just throwing me around. I'm going to stay here with you. I'm going to make sure you don't get yourself killed. You're throwing your life away just like mom did. And then immediately, oh. your dad walks up to him, and he oh. slaps him in the face. Ah. Alden kind of stumbles down, kind of holds out his face a bit. And he looks over at him. And he looks down at him. Don't make me tell you twice, boy. That'll be an intimidation. <laughs> You're gonna make yourself roll an intimidation check? Yeah, on the sun. <laughs> you see Aladdin back down like a wounded dog. Oh. He's like, All right, Dad. I'm sorry. Mayakin doesn't fucking speak up at all. He keeps his mouth shut. Smart man. You can you can cut the tension with a knife. So I decide to go up to where my brothers are. And I... They step outside, assuming you're following. Yes. Or I was gonna lead them outside, like, you know, hold, hold their hands. So yeah, uh... Go for something it. Something like that. Yes. Uh, I, I hold, I hold my Aiken's tail with my tail, because I want to have one hand on my staff and then have my left hand with Aladdin, the one who just got smacketh. Of course, you're you hold Aladdin out and then you kind of monkey grab. Well, no, your tail's not mobile enough for you to wrap around his. Ah. You can lift it up like a scorpion would. It, it's like, you kind of move it around much like a cat would, but it's not flexible like every individual vertebrae is for, oh, yeah. for a monkey's tail. It's not like a finger I, more than it's like an arm. I, uh, 
<laughs> I, I I use my tail to gesture my Aiken forward. Like I I flick it to like come follow me. Like the very tip of it. Like, yeah, they they fly. do. Of course, you lead them towards an alley or whatever. Go ahead, roll initiative. <laughs> You're robbing them, right? I'm not robbing my family. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> robbing my family. All right, what are you doing? Backstab check. You're killing them. I'm not <laughs> killing them. I'm not robbing them. All right, so we're outside. All right. You are outside. What are you doing? Hey, guys. I'm sorry for all of what's going on here. I think this would have happened even if I had stayed home and did nothing. So... Look, things I... have been getting out of hand. Aladdin's speaking up. Ah. And then Maya can follow us after. Yeah, uh... This would have happened with or without you. But I will guarantee you this. I'd be dead if you didn't come back. If you didn't do anything you did, I'd be dead. What that Try not something. to cry. Try not to cry, so he is like... I know Dad wants us to stay together. However... I... I actually need to do something. The other day I had a vision... With someone who said that she had a mission for Mom. And they need me to go over to... An area. I heard something about mushrooms... And I think that might be the complete different opposite direction of the the way Dad wants us. And not to mention, it is past the said desert that I got with these potions. I understand that something bad's happening, and I was wondering if... I, I need to go there, but do you want to come with me? All right, before I answer that, Sarah, I'm so fucking happy you remember that conversation. I wasn't sure if you did or not. What conversation? The, the one you had with the forest lady about going to the mushroom place. Of course, so yes. So fucking happy you remembered that. Of course I've got to remember that. My character's getting attention. I tend to remember if my character's getting attention or not. All right, all right. Well... So now, I will say, um, to respond to that, Mike can speaks up. Nah, I think me and Aladdin will have to let you go on this on your own. We've been watching you for so long. We've been coddling you, preventing you to grow on your own. I think it's about time we let you do something on your own. Besides, you've done your best so far. So, where are you going to go? Are you actually going to go to our uncle's? Nah. I think, um... I think I'm going to go down south. Okay. The Frostburn. I think I like colder places better. That, what about you, Aladdin? <sighs> I don't know, okay? Let me get out of this town and then I'll have an answer. Anywhere but here. I'm sick of that old man. <sighs> All right. I I hold my hand out. No matter where we go, let's promise that we will meet up again. Mike and Smurfs, and he puts his hand on yours. Of course, you're our baby sister. 
Alden seems a little bit reluctant at first, kind of occupied by his own thoughts. You see Mike and punch him in the shoulder, and he's like, huh? Oh. And he puts his hand on the pile, too. Sure, <laughs> yeah. Your family. We wouldn't forget about you. Uh, I have no idea what the future holds, but... Uh, be wary of zombie-like creatures that have flowers in their mouth. Okay? <laughs> I just have a bad feeling about that. And be careful of zombies just in general. But yeah, I need to... they're usually bad for my health. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going to be staying away from them for the most part. Great. Yeah, uh, I don't think I'll be messing with any zombies anytime soon either. Alright. And can you do me one last favor? Sure. Why not? Watch. Alright. Before you go anywhere, or while you're on your way, please let as many people as you know to leave their houses. Tell them that a, a cult and a cult of zombie necromancers has released zombies from the castle and onto the city. And that they move fast. They need to protect themselves Either if they, whether they stay here or not, they need to make sure that they know so that they can plan as well. I'll do what I can. Yeah, no problem. We can take care of that easy. Awesome. You guys God, are the I'm best. I'm getting so ladies. tired that I'm mixing the two voices together. I'm sorry. That's Peter. okay. All right. Hi, Peter. Alden. Alden. <laughs> Mike. Yeah. From the bottom of my heart. I love you. Please stay safe. I'm going to do my best to do so. I love and... you too, little sister. Yeah, I'm going to miss you. Kinda. <laughs> Alden smiles. <laughs> well, after being almost strangled to death by the probably leader of this cult, I'm glad to see that you haven't lost your sense of humor. But Aladdin said that, not Mike. And I know. I I know. I was being facetious. Oh, <laughs> Mike was the one that got kidnapped. I know. Oh, I was saying that I that I don't word good. Remember, <laughs> uh, it's okay. it's very refreshing to have Aladdin's sense of humor after almost dying. Oh, okay, I get you. Necromancer woman. I wasn't clear about that. Aladdin and Maya can give you a hug before they split off. Aladdin goes south and Maya King goes north. No, I said that backwards. A uh, Aladdin goes north and Maya King goes south. Canoli, then... you watch Zelina run off. You uh, set up oh, gu guards here and then you d tell them to disperse. You bar up the door and then now you're left to your own thoughts, as you can hear them banging. It won't be long before they start smashing windows. Might be a good idea for you to leave, too, very soon. Now, um, as far as your goal goes, this has been a complete waste of your fucking time. This town is in no way or shape to help out your kingdom at all. If anything, it needs help. It needs cleansing. Uh, which way would my town be? Where would my home be? Would it be to the east? Yeah, yeah. According to the map, it would be east. <sighs> With your we back to the castle, you'd be looking in the direction. It would be across the desert, actually. Oddly enough. I'm looking at the map, yes. I know. <laughs> it's across the desert. I'm looking right at it. Yeah. <laughs> all think this would have happened if I wouldn't have just gone to the wrong house and thought some kid was a prostitute. <laughs> oh. mm, Shogunite's gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just, it just yells, fuck! <laughs> Ultimately speaking, this was a mission failed, but 
It wasn't your own fault. <sighs> better, better grab the kid. At least head back to home. Oh, because that means I'm going to have to deal with mother. Oh, no. God. <laughs> Wait, am I running in towards his direction? Like, after I say hello to the family, I run off. So, I'm guessing I go back to where the church was to try to find the, the crabby? Nah, um, you know what? I will say on his way back, he does see you go back to your house. He sees you go in there. He hears the scuffle. Cannoli, would you have the heart to interrupt their family thing? Um... No, I was about to ask if I could roll roll a spot check to see if there was any weapons, ammo, or anything left behind. No, nah, the there's kerfuffle nothing kerfuffle. nothing of value to a crab. <laughs> crab. To a crab. <laughs> <laughs> nah, there's not much left here, so you guys pack your stuff oh, up wow. and you leave. You start heading to the north gate and you find each other and you you leave. Where are wait, we venturing then. now to, Jack? No, wait. Can, 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 can I? Can I? Um, <laughs> can I? Can I? Can my character suggest after they meet up to Grancio because I want to give the plan? She does. Grancio doesn't know about the mushrooms yet. No, he doesn't. But he does know you guys are crossing the desert. You know, he has to go back home, and you're going with him to that general direction. Okay. So, you guys can fill each other in later. All right. As of right now, you're still in the town. You're about to leave. Oh no, something's gonna happen. It's like... Honestly, I'm just planting the seed for the chance that Emma could regroup with you guys. So you know. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Yeah, that's why. That's Emma's why I'm not letting you town. leave yet. Okay. <laughs> She's stuck in there with the queen. <laughs> yeah. No, I already got somewhat of a plan for that. Real quick, I'm going to give right. thanks one more time. Thank you, Crazy Emma Cannoli, for stopping by. S same to you, Sarah. At in <laughs> Discord for small streamers. TTV viewer was here for a little bit. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful night. This has been Team 5 Star. They have done really well. Oh, shoot. All things <gasps> considered. They are now Team 5 Star, no longer Team 4 Star. And if you guys like the Moon Hunters background instead of the fucking Secret Ponchos background, let me know. I missed the fat man. He was hairy and cool. Well, now you got a green fat man who is covered in leaves and can and dance. And he can dance. And he yeah. can dance. And Look at him. Look wolf. at him go. I'm no longer watching the stream anymore. I stopped once he said I couldn't have any help from crazy. Um, <laughs> Backing up my dick. Alright. Um, yeah. I hope you all have a wonderful night. And I will see you next week. Or on the weekend, rather. It is Monday today. I'll see you Saturday, Sunday. Whatever the fuck you guys want to show up. I don't care. You live the you live the free life. Good night.